Hello and welcome to the Season 12 Division 4D, uh, G, D? 4D, 4D. Uh, <laughs> good start. <laughs> Amazing start. <laughs> and the, uh, the giggling you can hear oh, behind me <laughs> is uh, um, Fail Fish. Say hello. Yes. Hello. And oh, it's me again. Also, we have a special, special guest star of Innovation. Say hello. You're very lucky. <laughs> uh, time in my schedule. No, wow. joking. It's, it's great to be on. And, uh, I, I thought to, we had to pay you $50 for this. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're paying us. Okay, that's fine. Appearance yeah. fees. Yeah, appearance <laughs> fees. That's, that's fine. If you want to just, just send me some money, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Um, Can we wait until their market collapses? Wait, <laughs> we're going to pay you in rubles, though. Yeah, just, just uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what that equates to. Probably not very much. Well, it depends on how many I give you, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ruthless. <laughs> I mean, you know, one ruble doesn't equate to very much. But anyway, it's a yeah, slight hand. Uh, um, whatever. Shall we go yeah, on? Yeah, we actually do this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this has gone badly already. Why? Norm <laughs> normally, I'm way better than this. Anyway, anyway. Hey, T Cold, we have we have a viewer. Excellent. Yay! How are you doing, it's, Mr. T Cold? It's not just the three of us talking to uh, you know ourselves. Talking to an empty screen. No. Okay, so um, I'm not actually going to show the the matchups so that there's a, a no. We've literally just started. Um, I'm not going to show the matchups, so uh, w you know we'll we'll talk through the the matches basically. Uh, and the first matchup this week was uh, the Bear Necessities Positron Mike against the Nurgle Community College of Bucket of Lithium. Um, and yeah. they actually, so uh, uh, Mike actually mentioned a particular um, event, so I've I've clipped it. And uh, if you're watching on screen, you know you, you should be able to see turn three of the uh, of the first drive, which was the chaos drive. They um, the the chaos actually, I think they they kind of went forward a bit too quickly, and they they, they put themselves you know against Kislev and the leapy men. They laid, let let you know like turn two. Um, Mike could have jumped in for a hit there if he'd have wanted to roll. A, a GFI or two more than he, he seemed to. Uh, as it was, like turn three, the chaos set up a kind of one-sided cage almost by the sidelines, which was pretty uh, thingy, pretty dodgy. Uh, and I think they'd already used that one their rerolls as well, doing something slightly dangerous. And oh yeah, that, no, that was it. One one dicing the bear was the uh, was the end of turn chaos choice of, of uh, action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think I would have re-rolled that. Not I would have just re accepted that. Yeah. yeah. The warrior was going down. I, and interestingly, if he hadn't, the, the, the following dice was also a one because the bear, um, you know, uh, really stupid or whatever the thing is. So here uh, you can see that the, the kids lever basing up the cage, obviously suggesting they're about to, to leap in. And uh, yeah, yeah, first of all, leaping in with a, a Garda, and then coming in with a Blitzer. You might notice there is no um, Zappy symbol no Blitzer on top of the Blitzer because oh. he forgot to press. Oh. He forgot to press uh, Blitz, so he just threw him in there. Oh, you've, you've 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 done all this effort, and then you just. Don't it fit. all works perfectly. Yeah. Other than the, the <laughs> actually, he had to reroll. Actually, but, he could have still blitzed though, right? Because he hadn't yes, used his blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he could have. Still so blitzed. that that catcher who who ran up to the top of the screen could uh, could have gotten the one. Could die. have gotten a one, die, a die, one die. No, two die actually because of two yeah, there were two guards on it. Uh, so um, yeah, he could have actually gotten the two die. Yeah. Ah, it's, one, it's one of those things where you know if you're. <laughs> it, was, it, it was. It's. I wouldn't say a mistake, but it's easy to kind of get no, in the no, mindset no, no, no. of one plan and then not think about about doing a you know doing something different because when your when your original plan doesn't work because you forgot to press the button. <laughs> no, that sucks. I think I think we've all been there. Yeah, we've we've, we've all, all forgotten, forgotten to press blitz. 
Like, uh, I, 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 either when just, just blitzing your own ball carrier out or for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, Every, everyone's done it. Yeah, and no, I, 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 you know, the, the, I've, I've played a lot and uh, it's still occasionally you, you start, you start moving and you go, ah, oh, but, ah, uh, why is it, ah. Uh. Or you accidentally double click somewhere and he starts moving. Why am I so stupid? Yeah. <laughs> um, I've actually right. I've actually got another clip from uh, this uh, from this game. Yeah. Uh, which I'm, I'm kind of I'm they're all on loop as well, so you know they'll keep playing while I'm um, while I'm looking for my uh, thing. While while we're just faffing. Yeah, about exactly. Um, you, you can watch some nice. Platform. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the the one after this, um, uh, it was actually Positron Mike's um, score. So it was actually so not not a great deal happened in between. The chaos scored scored there, and oh no, they did actually stop. Um, so stop so the, the chaos uh, scored quite early score. in the first half, um, yeah. and the Kislev. Um, All right, that's that's a lucky score. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a. It was. He rolled some. Dice. Yeah, he rolled some dice. He, actually, it, he, rolled he didn't dice. roll a lot of dice, but the dice he rolled. Um, it's a four plus three plus two plus, right? Uh, did he have? Did he have sure hands? Yeah, he had sure hands. So built in. Oh, okay, that's that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, seventy five percent or yeah, whatever. The sure hands kicked in there as well. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, yeah. but actually, so in the first half, the chaos scored quite quickly, and the Kislev didn't really get down downfield very quickly um, and in fact they only had on like turn seven they only had like one catcher who was in scoring range and he right, doubled he just got down no he, he double won the leap out, out of ah. coverage on turn seven so they didn't actually have any scoring threats at the end of the turn that also doesn't yeah work. And, and I do think he kind of he didn't go forward quickly enough and then on his drive um, at the beginning of the second half, they kind of, you know, the, the chaos got got some good chances at hitting the ball, and and you know, it was a there was a little bit of of uh, the ball on the ground action with with people standing around it could have gone either way type thing. Oh, as you can see from the fact I've chosen the uh, a leap into double tackle zones to score as the, as the the scoring shot. Yep. Um, but then the the kind of the deciding turn. Uh, which I'm just showing now, uh, started with the Kislev. So turn 15, Kislev used their last re-roll on a one-dice skull, which I didn't think was really worth taking. Uh, get a scoring threat, run a player in to get the ball. This time, sure hands doesn't work, uh, and the 75% the chance fails, the four plus. And actually, I think the Chaos did kind of quite... Well. The Chaos did, did, did score. Yeah, yes. yeah, they did. They did win. Um, I think they. I think at the beginning of the game, though, they they did quite. They were they were going for attrition. They were trying Ooh, to. That's a fireball. Okay. Yeah. I'm surprised by the fire. Okay, it was basically what else are they going to do do with it? It. it they, yeah, they held on to it for so it. long. There was, you know, they they're not going to use it in turn 16. I I just I I just assumed there might have been a better place in the game, but I was unable to catch this mm. game. Mm. Yes. And once I saw that Mike was playing against a wizard, the game being as close as it was is actually quite surprising. Because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there, there, there was definitely a, an opportunity for Mike to take more from this game than what he got. Yeah. And the, well, the, the wizard should, yeah, you're right, though. The wizard should have been used earlier. Um, yeah. And here we have another, like, turn 15. Um, no one in scoring range when they when that hand handoff happened. If if he had had the same double one or even a one in nine, um, like yeah. Mike had for his and then turn just seven, that it's one on one, yeah. But that's not how bubble works. <laughs> no. Um, and it's, instead, he ends up with quite a nice, like, you know, red carpet. Fairly easy score after that. I didn't bother recording doing any more after that. No, uh, he still needs to. It still needs a GFI for the score, but mm. I assume that worked. Um, There's not a lot for Mike to do, though. No. It? Well, that, no that's why I think... Yeah, I think turn 15 was the the point at which Chaos had scored, as it were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they still had, the re they still had their last re-roll left as well, so the, the GFI was a, a 1 in 36. 
Although it could have been very different. As is often the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, the bit I was taking from this was I'm just I'm just shocked at, about the file. Hmm. But <laughs> I, I didn't get to watch the game, so I, I can't really say whether we had a better opportunity to use it or not, unfortunately. I definitely think there were, uh, uh, you know, there were there were there were definitely chances where the chaos could have used it earlier, but but they were mostly early on in the in the second half or at the end of the first half. And I, I can understand holding on to it and thinking I can I can find a better use for this later, you know, and then and then holding on for too, too long. Uh, All right. I, I'd have been really interested in what the fouling game was like from the chaos. Mm. I, I think I think there's a lot of um, um, I think there's quite 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 a good opinion that if you foul against the kids left, you can get some really nice results. Hmm. Ah, there were no send-offs. I don't think. I don't think there was a bribe in play either. Mm. <clears throat> no, just the wizard, I guess. Uh, yeah, 160 TV difference, so just a wizard. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but generally, I think I think Mike played better. Just you know, <clears throat> had had you know a worse luck at an exact at exactly the worst moment type thing. Mm -hmm. Kids okay. level one of those teams. Yeah. They roll. A lot of dice, and, uh, and if it I've works had... out, they just win. Yeah, well, I, I, I actually, uh, me, me and Mike actually played quite a lot in college because we were both from Europe, so we end up playing each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's had this kids left team since he started college, so it's, uh, must be four seasons old. Could be wrong, but um, yeah, the way that he plays with the kids left, he's, he's. He's always kind of played that way. It's like really aggressive when it works. Right. It's, just it's, taking it's, risks. Yeah, but it, it's um, it's an educated risk. Like he won't he won't just dive in. He he do it in such a way where he can like protect himself a little bit. So yeah. it's an interesting way that Mike plays. It's it's, it's I think it's I think his level are a team that they magnify luck. So if you if you have a little bit of bad luck. Everything can collapse, and obviously, if it's really bad, then you're screwed. But but a little bit of good luck, right. and you can just totally, you know, a little bit of good luck at the right time, you steal the ball, you score, life becomes easy. Even if, you know, other things aren't really working, just just the right the right dice at the right time can can make Kislev very good. I'm not very good at taking risks, but I've watched Mike take the right <laughs> mm. risks and then really pay off for him. So. <laughs> On another day, he he, he, right. he could make that three three nil three one. It, he is one of those coaches that like if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Yeah, oh, well, that's exactly yeah, that, and that's a. Uh, I, I think the it kind of fits in with the kids' play style. I think. Yeah, I think think your 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 comment about the right risks is the is the important thing. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's an educated risk mm. of what what he was taking. He's a he's a very good coach, a very scary coach to play against because he's not afraid to leave it. Mm. He's not afraid to put you under pressure, mm -hmm. and um, it 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 makes it hard for you as a team to move forward and create um, to move forward safely. Yeah, uh, you could see that in the way that the chaos got pinned against that sideline. Mm. So yeah, we didn't actually um, mention it, but yeah, so the final result was two one to the. To the chaos, after having talking about how great Mike is as a coach, <laughs> he did in fact lose. Uh, wow. I'm, just, I'm okay. just sticking up for yeah, Mike yeah. a little no, bit. I've, cool. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've got something to look forward to then, since I'm facing it in round 13. Round oh, my I final really. match. <laughs> He might have a team. He might not have a team. Yeah, he, I'm hoping he doesn't have a team. <laughs> he might not have a team, but what team he does have might have a lot of levels, which you know, well, just kind of can be kind of scary. He's actually. He's actually played with not much of a team before because I've played him with not much of a team. <laughs> he plays the inducement game quite well, so I All actually right. prefer him being up TV a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you know, kids live a pretty bloaty. You you do pay you yep. do pay yeah. for everyone to have leak. So um... yes, that's true. Okay, um, shall we go on to the level ups? Then? Okay. Oh, the level ups. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's. There's some interesting stats from that 
That's been that's been one level up on the kiss left side, mm -hmm. which is the catcher who has gotten 10 SPP this game from 43 to 53. Oh yeah, and he's wow. picked up boring old sidestep. Now, <laughs> I watched that game. I'm not sure where 10 SPP actually came from. Did he win? Did he um, win MVP? Two, right. Two passes MVP and a touchdown. There you go. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. It's like you know. Uh yeah yeah he was he was the he was the you know the ball picker upper. Uh, yep. In the backfield, so he made the pass. Pretty, pretty much just the main catcher, yeah, yeah. I guess. Is he building the catcher we'll underneath that to wrestle strip? Probably, yeah. I guess into yeah, a sack or wrestle yeah. tackle, maybe. That, yeah, mm -hmm. wrestle tackle strip. Mm. That'd be an interesting one to watch. Yeah, that's the only level up on the kiss left side with uh, a bunch of plus twos on other players. Mm -hmm. One for the tame bear, who is now. One casualty away from leveling, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the chaos side, we have uh, two level ups as well. One on the dodge beast man, who uh, who got the, who got the final TD and that's leveled up with that. Um, um, don't know what he's got. Yeah. Um, I don't actually have it open right here. Oh, I do. I've got it open. Wait a second. So which one? The, the Dodge Beastman? The Dodge Beastman, yes. And he got block. Alright. Yeah, so Blodger. Yeah, Blodger is fine. Blodger is Blodger's Um Oh, one of the things that's worth we... mentioning as well is uh, that that uh, the Niggled Beastman got got a level up as he well, got, didn't he? He got a level, yes. Uh, he, <laughs> he got a He level. got the first Kaz and I think the second Kaz he in the got, game as well. Yeah, he got plus four, so he sh yeah. yeah, he has yeah, he has two Kaz. And that's He's... like one of the reasons not to keep a niggled player is that they will yep. start I... They will start just <laughs> amassing SPP as soon as they get yep, injured. Exactly. <laughs> so I think I would have fired both the A V seven and the Niggle yeah, if that's... it was if, from think... my personal opinion. Uh, pers I think we've had something similar last week. I have, I have a very strong view that in almost no circumstance should you keep a niggle. Uh, essentially, you, you know, <laughs> and, unless you've got a blodging AV7, uh, you know, strength five player or something, or someone, or someone who's so amazing in every in in their their level ups that you really want to keep them, a niggle is is instant death because like the num the number of times you face Claw Mighty Blow. And it, you, essentially, well, you're, just, you're getting plus two to be removed. It is bad. Yeah. You're being removed. Yeah. You basically, it's like what? It goes from eight to a six on the injury table. Yeah. Yeah. You get it's removed. Like it's just, yeah. It did, it's just, just, and I mean, what's that? That's uh, fifty-eight percent to get a seven or more, which, you know. That's... Yeah. Fifty-eight percent of of getting removed if your armor gets yeah. broken. Yeah. So uh, don't keep niggles, people. Jeez, how yes. often do I have to you see this? what happens? They get two casualties and then they level up, and then you're like, eh, "Do I keep him? Do I not keep yeah. him?" I'd still That's say fire. I am. Right Avoid my situation. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, I've I've got the same, you know. I've I've got a oh. uh, minus AV busted, but who's actually just my ball carrier? <laughs> and like, oh, a, no. an AV bust isn't actually as bad because the effect on removals is 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 not, you know. Like it's, you, it, it doesn't change. Yeah, you're you you get broken. You're but you're probably you're probably going to get stunned more often, so it's not as much of an issue. But the a niggle being extra extra removals, I think, is is terrible. Anyway, that's my little little rant about niggles. Corn Corn Pro tip: Get rid of niggles. Yeah. No, as soon as they happen, it's 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 death. I you know if you want to keep the player, apo them into almost anything else. Like I've mm -hmm. I'd keep. I'd, I'd even keep a minor strength uh, goat to, you know, in extreme cases. But uh, above a niggle, uh, I choose. Uh, they got they got horns anyway. They're going to be strength three when they're blitzing. It's fine. You know. <laughs> was it Lewis Jano's one in the Super Bowl? Oh right, the, yeah, he he, he kept one? he kept the yeah he did keep the yeah, minor strength it, guard. Uh, Luke, with, with the specialized it, role. It, that, yeah. it almost worked. Uh, Luke, yeah, yeah. He, he did he did some very good things with it. The the streamer Lupak uh, had a. a a strength to uh, like killer go as well when you know like none of the other killers had leveled so he was the main killer he got he got strength busted and it was like it's it's fine he's got a bit of guard so and he still got strength, still got strength three, three when he's blitzing, blitzing. He's, he's, he's still my blame blitzer yeah. so no, i can kind of see that but still oh, that, that was in ccl where, where you got a limited amount of time and you 
you're not going to be able to, yeah, to, to get someone new yeah, this time. Yeah, you kind of kind of have. Yeah. To. Right. Um, okay. Just before we just before we move mm -hmm. on, there's some interesting statistics from from that game. Yeah. That um, even though um, Mike was out blocked almost two to one. That he actually scored more more injuries than the kind yep. <laughs> Yeah, he, he apparently he had four armor breaks and three injuries inflicted. So uh, I just thought that was an insane. <laughs> that is that is some very saying. very good injury yeah. dice. <laughs> but um, the chaos did did get six removals in total. Yeah, but a lot of chaos, right? Uh, the, uh, some four of them... chaos. Yeah, and four five of them failed to two. wake up. So yeah, but oh, Mike had bad chaos dice. Mm. Yep. Um, only slightly better KO dice than mine. But actually, so the the only <laughs> the only mighty blow on both teams were the big guys. So they they were both kind of equally bashy. Uh, but I think the Kislev tried to to disengage a bit more, and the whereas the Chaos were were, were not quite as much. I don't know. I mean, the the, the Chaos got more blocks mm. in. I've got so I would uh, say could... that was true. Mm. Level's got frenzy. Though. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Mike chose to disengage so much with with the guard advantage he mm. had. I, I thought he might have uh, might have tried to lean on his guard and put put the chaos in situations where they were a bit stuck and maybe had to had to dive out. Mm. Maybe you're right. Maybe they did. Maybe it's my. I, you know, I was skipping through all the uh, the replays when I was watching them, so my my perception might be <laughs> might be non perfect. <laughs> You watched more of it than I did. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you really did watch more than we did. I guess. <laughs> well, all right. Um, yep. On to the next game, yep. I guess. So the next, we don't have anything else to say. No, no. no I just thought that was interesting to me. Personally. Yeah, it I is. Just, yeah. It, it was. It was. Um, so the next one is oh, the uh, Thunder's last caress. The uh, Necro team. Against Nuffles Chosen Misfits, the the Goblin team. Yes, the Goblins. Now, oh. it's always going to be hard when, um, when, uh, you know, you're playing Goblins and you're against a team with, uh, Tackle Mighty Blow and and yes. Frenzy Mighty and Blow. And of block. Yeah. Um, but oh, they they did not have they did not have a good game. <laughs> they did not have fun. Well, maybe they did have fun. Uh, the go the Goblins. Uh... Didn't, didn't roll very good dice. Did no, well, <laughs> it wasn't terrible, but it was actually so. So I've, again, I've got uh, another clip. So let's let's uh, let's roll VT. All right, roll VT. Yeah. Um, so the first clip is actually their the goblins' first turn, and they they pick up the ball, semi cage, blitz with a troll. Fine, that's not terrible. Does the troll die? No, not yet. Although <laughs> you have you, you you've looked ahead. Uh, one of the things I don't I don't I... like is the ball and chains and the bomb bomber being on the pitch at the same time. Because essentially, oh, yeah. if a bomb hits a ball and chain, the ball and chain has no hands. He can't catch it. He can't intercept it. And if it hits him, he goes down and he's injured. You... Oh, yeah, that, that's two ball and chains at the that's same time. That's two ball and chains wow. and a hail mary bomber at the backfield. Mm -hmm. Which does exactly that. Ooh. Oh, which does exactly <laughs> in, that. In turn Rip, one. Rip yeah. That was a good inducement. Yeah, and so also, I, I think that he he pushed forward too far as well with ball and chain. So it, I, yeah, I you guess kind of, you you want the, you, you want to get the hits it? right. I mean, but... I, I I think you throw the bomb here at at the, at the kick zombie in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's one of the problems with the replays. We can't actually see where it was thrown. Yeah, we, we can, can only see where it lands. Oh, actually, you can only imagine. Oh, it we went can there. see the, the the number of uh, scatters, I guess. <laughs> we can calculate the scatter. <laughs> yeah, they're all in the same direction. It's one, two, three. So diagonally, so in one in one direction, then diagonally oh, yeah. twice, up and down. So one, two, five. It, it could. Oh, is it? I, is it one, two, three? I'm, 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 I've got it. I've got oh, the kind of. Two, five. It yeah, might be a five. It's one, two, okay. five. Okay. Yeah. Two, five. All right then. I don't know. Maybe he was a bit closer than he should have been. Maybe, I guess. Maybe it was just the edge no. of the bomb that caught him. But either, either way, I do think that he pushes too far forward with the with the ball and chain. Like yes. you want to keep getting hit, but you're kind of you're even if he's not getting bombed here, he's definitely going to get hit. Right? You're you're basically you're putting that player out to dry over there. 
Right, so so this one is just too far away. Yeah, way too far, I think. At, 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 at this point, uh, yeah. You, sh you should have maybe gone he's, right into them, or just back? He's against the Claw Mighty Blow Wolf as well. Mm. I mean, the Claw Mighty Blow doesn't really the make... Claw, Claw, do Claw Mighty Blow doesn't help because if he be, gets be, blocked... Be, being, being sat next to the Mighty Blow would, would be obstructed. Hmm. I mean, for, 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 for Fanatics, it doesn't really matter because as soon as they go down, they get removed. So, I'm not sure how that works. Whether whether the um, it, it does. Yeah, well, it, it's either a KO. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, I know that. So, so there's KO. no armor armor break. Go straight to injury. But does yeah. does mighty blow actually affect the injury roll, or does it not? It uh, might. Mm, I think it's also an automatic KO, but I don't know. Mm. Oh yeah, it has, yeah. Um, we can. I I I think I think the uh, the rules of the rules of fanatics actually say it. Yeah, it has to be a KO. But um, I'm not sure if it's like kind of if it's the same as being knocked over normally and mighty blow actually has an effect. But I don't know. Anyway, I, I just I just assumed it. Works. It, do it doesn't really matter. They get KO'd every time, at least. And I do. I. I. I he, um. You know it. With the ball and chains. I. I. I assume the mighty blow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. With the ball and chains and the two trolls, you can have quite. You can protect the ball quite well with all that strength mm -hmm. if you keep them all together but they're all wandering yes. off in different places I, and I don't I think tactically that's not a great great choice yeah maybe I, I think on the fourth one you should have moved back instead of forward yeah exactly that loss uh, you can choose where you, where yeah, you can you can choose the direction yeah so so go, going back towards his own it's, touchdown it's, line it's, rather it's, than forward basically mm -hmm. I mean it does it does like Guarantee you don't get a hit, but it does keep him safe. I haven't got goblins enough. Yeah, so ba but basically, what happens is you, you choose, so you see the, the kind of cross, the white cross around him when he's moving. Right. You okay. choose one direction, yeah, yeah. and he goes into yeah. one of those three squares. It's like it's, a. It's, uh, it's you, you roll a d6. On one and two, on one and two, he goes to the left. On three and four, he goes straight. On five and six, he goes to the right. Yeah. So you choose the direction, so you can still go back again. You don't need to just go in one direction. For, it's not like you you press once and he goes all, all his way, all his movement. As much as most goblin players play them like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, he ended up like the goblins lost a lot of players, um, as you'd probably expect from being so outstrength and outbashed. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, I'm just seeing the results here. Yeah, yeah that, that's a lot of players lost. Yeah. I've, um... Luckily, only two MNGs. Well, really? Are you, miss yes. are you missing one of the things that isn't an MNG? Oh, and the yeah. death. <laughs> death. And the death. <laughs> the death shows up on top. Yep. Um, so, the, both trolls in the first half got removed. Um, and both of them were, were random hits from from, uh, from Tomb Guard, from uh, Flesh Fresh, flesh columns. All right, so so no claw. No claw. Balls. No mighty blow. Neither of the flesh columns have mighty blow either. Uh, oh, wow. Both of them just this randomly is... failed armor and injury. Wow. I mean that happens, yeah. you know. Well, it does happen, yeah, indeed. Yeah. The the SPT uh, SPP totals from this game, I would say. The last caress mm -hmm. really really went to town. Really really spread yeah. out. Yeah, I mean they they weren't trying mm -hmm. to score. They were just they were just trying wow. to they were just trying to remove. <laughs> 6, 9, 14, 17, 22, 28 SVP for the last crest there. Which is a good farm. Yeah. I think. It, it really is. Compared yeah, to five on the goblins. Four goblins. You couldn't have asked for a Four better goblins. game. Uh, marshmallow hot fudge picking up. <laughs> I love the MVP. That, you, he was on zero out of six, now he's on five out of six. I didn't spot so. the two passes in the game, but they were <laughs> Just to add more cherry, oh. but yeah, it was it was a. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a dicing. It was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath. Yeah. It was. It was just one sided. Mm. <laughs> uh, I've actually. Oh wait, I've got another another. Uh, what what was the other one? Oh, the other one was the other ball and chain. But it, well, basically, so so the goblins start with the ball, and this is still the first drive. So this is turn two. Uh, this is the next next turn. turn yeah. Again, the ball and chain just goes straight forward, and like maybe it's yep. not as bad because the trolls protecting the ball and chain. This cage is right. based on two, two corners, and he hits yep. a blodger with a troll, which you know, 
really stupid there, and he's even more screwed. Um, yep. As it is, there's a zombie on the on one corner of his cage, and a tackle, uh, you mighty blow white within distance. And the one thing that right, so you can just punch one goblin away and then just go blitzing in with the blush. yeah. And the, and the one thing protecting the fallen chain was the troll. And when he activated the other troll, he went stupid. So there's no protection for the ball and chain anymore either. Which is kind of unlucky, but one of those things had to have failed. You know, either the one of the two really yeah. stupids or that, that blitz or, you know. And that, that, you know, I think that's where... As... All right, yeah, you, you, yeah, you just punched the ball and chain yeah. there. That's worth committing like a couple of players to. Mm. Especially when there's there's almost no other threats left. You know, goblins mm -hmm. are. Ah, you've got the. Mm. Got a zombie on the. Floor. Yeah. Mighty blow tackle. And then mighty blow tackle for the two die. Mm -hmm. And cast the ball down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in... This is a really tough matchup for Joe. Yeah, I mean, well, gob goblins, are, is, goblins are hard, whatever your matchup. And the, the uh, you know, once to get rid of the ball and chain enough to re roll a. A 50-50, basically. Not going for the pickup. No. Nope. All right. And in fact, didn't go for the pickup. Next turn, went for the surfing of the bomb bombardier at the back line. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you know, if there's if, there, if, if there's no if there's no players on the pitch to stop you, you can just score, well, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. But he can basically just score anyway. He's 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 yep. almost uh, you know. He he he, Ooh, he didn't. That's a quick turn. He didn't bother with the with the the ball for a number of turns. He just he just removed goblins every turn and just concentrated yeah, on that. That's a fair way to play. Yeah. It. it was you know. If it works. Yeah. Like. <laughs> All right. Um. I think yeah. That's a pretty one-sided game. Yeah. <laughs> ended ended up three nil. Yeah. For the necromantic team. And got. I mean, goblins are tough. Right, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, not saying anything about uh, 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 Nuffle's chosen misfits. You know, it was just, it's, it's it, they weren't chosen. No. This game. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Um, I actually played Jojishi in Green mm -hmm. in the first uh, iteration of my uh, Grim Tale, and uh, he his chainsaw actually just went off, killed mm -hmm. killed like six of my dudes. I think wow. in my first Greenhorn game. That was my introduction to Rebel. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, that, my, my introduction to, to Rebel was actually really interesting. <laughs> it was quite a game. It was good fun. Okay. Yeah, go goblins are a lot better against teams that don't have lots of mighty foe tackle, though. <laughs> yeah. Or frenzy tackle. Or just generally block. Oh, no, it was, um, <laughs> it was totally naked. No. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and it green on, so I was just like, Ow. I was just trying to get the SPP. Mm. Um, Didn't yeah, really his work. Chainsaw was, his chainsaw was just amazing that game, absolutely amazing. And that, I mean, that is one of the things uh, that people talk about wanting to, uh, to uh, you know, to make make goblins or ogres better. But they're they're a very dice dependent team, and they can actually be good if you if the dice they are, can work. you know. Yeah. So you know, if you give them too much power on the in the other way, then they they become they they have games where they just walk over people. You know, mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen very often. But sometimes the chainsaw works. <laughs> sometimes the ball and chain works. Sometimes it yeah. works. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, my, my tip would be don't go forward so much with the ball and chain and don't have the bombardier on the same time as the ball and chains. That's what I would say. Uh, I'm just um just from watching the bits of this gameplay, the bit that I was surprised about, I don't know if you had an opportunity to do it, but to tie down Tie down the mighty blow tackle because I don't think there's another tackle piece on on the necro team, is there? I didn't really have a chance no. to do that, unfortunately. No, no, you didn't really. That. Uh, you, you mean with? I'd have been lucky back. to tie that down. Yeah. With the troll. Yeah, good idea. And just leaving it there, just leaving it there, and just going. If you get away from him, you get away from him. But there's a fair chance that your dodge isn't going to work. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know who actually won um, the kickoff. Uh, you know who won the the coin toss, but I do think uh, attack. You know, attacking as goblins was part of the problem as well. Like having to look after the ball yeah. and trying to get downfield at the same. Like you want to just be killing the opposition and hoping to remove players, not worrying too much about the ball. And that's a lot easier when they've got it. That's true. 
Um, there, there were three three level ups. Do we do we go through them? So, not yet. Not yet. Nope. No, so we just commented on how much SKP. Yeah. So, um, Jailhouse Jerry got a uh, double with a dodge. Oh, did he get dodge? Yeah. He got dodge. Oh, nice. Now he has blood firm, and now I hate him. <laughs> um, that is a very good thing. Yeah. Yes. And also yes. Jerry only the mighty blow claw werewolf, werewolf. also got dodge, yes. that, but obviously that's not a double. Yeah, that's fair. And another mighty blow on the um, on the guard right. White. Yes. That team is oh. really beginning. To yeah, scary. it's that's, it's it's beginning a, to get scary. That's a scary macro. Only one HPP away from the uh, from the other werewolf level as well. Um, I Lord played Wolfgang. Thunder. In round one, he's a very solid coach. He, he's uh, there, there's there's definitely um, a thing to be said for him, maybe being top of this division at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's you know the win, the win loss record shows it: ten wins, four losses, zero draws. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good record. Yeah, I love I love the fact he has zero draws. I think that's excellent. <laughs> yeah. Zero draws, I ever win or I go mm -hmm. out. <laughs> As shown by his first two games, both losing 3 <laughs> 0. Uh, winning, yeah, well, yeah, you mean uh, the Goblins? No, 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 no. Um, I, I'm just going through the uh, through Funden's match history. Ah, okay. Like the, the first ever two oh, games. Oh, I see, oh, I see, see, yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh. yeah. Oh, they were both losses, they were both 3 0 losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of them against against Nurgle. Anyway, wow. <laughs> I went. I, I'd love to see that. <laughs> that. That's interesting. Well, Nurgle scoring three is pretty impressive. Yep. Yeah, that that that's why I wanted <laughs> to see it. I was like, damn. I wonder what happened there for that to for that to be like that. But looking at his team now, having having so much blood around the team, having a nice amount of mighty blur. You could argue that having only one tackles could pose him a problem, but hmm. eh, there's, there's, there's not too many teams in this division with more than like three or four blood, I think. So. Oh, the Skaven of the other one, right? It, and High Elves, I guess? We've got three Elf teams, Sk so... Yeah, Skaven. Skaven. I mean, the Skaven don't have that much. Um, we've got they Dr. Still, Hep on one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven Dodge at the moment, so... <laughs> I mean, there's 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 three elf teams and there's Skaven, mm. so there's quite a bit of dodge still in the competition. And and Norse still has Norse yeah. have some dodge as well, right? We got some dodging. Norse have some. Oh, do they? Yeah, really? they're runners. I didn't see the dodge on the Norse. Runners get dodge. Yeah. Okay. Runners get edgy access. Yes. Well, yeah. You you could argue then that is. Uh, and humans. On his, humans on have his... catches as well. So yeah, like except except yeah. for the real bash teams. Okay. Everyone has a bit of dodge. Even the ba even uh, the bash you, teams, you I could, think, uh, you know, have have a if they've got a double. Um, we'll we'll. I I, I have dodge. Hmm. <laughs> I, I have dodge. There team. you go. Didn't didn't really work out this round, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Sometimes it does. It, it it looks cool when it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like aha, you don't get him uh, now. Okay, so is is other. Is other whites 12 SPP away, and I, I reckon he goes with tackle there. But, um, I mean, he, yeah, did, he, he just to he just took up. mighty blow. He kind of shouldn't have taken mighty, yeah. mighty blow. I don't think he's got he's got two hitters already. Uh, I don't know. What do you take instead of guard here then? Uh, with guard, you could take stand firm. Three stand firmers. Mm -hmm. Is a real pain. Yeah, yeah free stand firmers is a real pain for one turning. Uh, with yeah, with the true. middle one having guard yeah. in between two blodge, blodging uh, flesh columns yeah. as well. That's that's. Yep. I do I do like building one of the whites into that kind of uh, middle. No, that's fair. That's fair. I think I'd have liked to see Mike Blow tackle on both the whites, but then then you're a bit. Wait, well, you're a bit down you're on, really on the guard. Yeah. yeah. You, you're really struggling with the guard there, so I can understand why he's gone away. I mean, it's a common, you know, you've got, you've got to make those decisions between tackle guard or, or mighty blow, basically, quite often. You know, yeah, and he's already got three mighty blow. When, no, sorry, he already had two mighty blow, and now he's got three. I kind of like the idea of having more guard than mighty blow. It's my, my way of thinking. Well, you can generate a lot more blocks. You can control the pitch a lot more. 
Yeah. It's, inter it's yeah. interesting that he's uh, got I... he's got himself five dodge, five blodge in fact, four blodge. Four blodge yeah. and only the one. Tackle. Yeah. I, I don't know. I worry about the only one tackle. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, so should we move on to the next game, which is in fact yours. Yes. Oh no. A grim tale oh, no. against teenage ninja rats. Teenage ninja rats. Uh, I can actually. Tell Seems you like you didn't really game. kill enough rats. Uh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad you can tell us quite a lot. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, he actually started off on offense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I put him there. I can't remember if I won the toss. I'm sorry. But um, <laughs> I, it, through his first drive. Um, there was um he based a lot so so i was like okay if you really want to have a fight against me i'm i'm good with that because i'm, I'm quite little. happy to block av7 <laughs> and AB8. i'm quite happy to go and punch you i was i was a bit um i was a bit skeptical because i was missing missing my killer who took a niggle in my first game yes so Golden I, Goose. I i was a bit i was a bit annoyed with that because i was like ah. Oh, I'd have really liked to hit the roger and uh, remove that from the field, but I was quite quite lucky with my armor breaks Ooh. and managed to, because he kept on trying to come in and um, have a fight with me, like I, I just started to be able to chain up the hits and make it really difficult for him. Right. Um, I was surprised that he went for some of my AV9, I don't think he really targeted the rotters all that often in the first in, Well, time. yeah, he got an, he, he got I, an early removal of a rotter. <clears throat> that was like the last, the last you know, oh, time oh. he really tried it, if, you know, yeah. I thought. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember him really targeting the rotters out. But, um, yeah, it, 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 went, it went really well, forced this early score. Uh, I was then like, oh, how am I going to get this up the pitch? I made a mistake and didn't didn't cover properly for the blitz. He got a blitz, and well, I'm lucky not to be two 0 down in the first half. It was really sloppy from me. All right. Uh, really, really sloppy. I, I wouldn't say it was sloppy, but you know, it, you were lucky it was a deep kick. If it had been shallow, it would have been much worse. You end up having to go back, and then kind of, you know. Uh, I I think there was a lot more that I could have done, mm. like does it, like, because I didn't set up at all for for that scenario. I kind of put myself in it, and and uh, that was something I learned from that. Because oh. rats being such a oh, yeah. such a quick team, mm. like you you can kind of learn learn from that <laughs> and uh, set up better for it next time. But uh, I was lucky he double wound it on the GFI into the end zone. All but, right, um, that's that's lucky. Yeah, <laughs> hmm. uh, I had control in the second half and then didn't protect the ball well enough. Like I've actually, I've, so I, forward. I did take a clip from this as well, and uh, oh, it's oh, it's yeah. in your drive in the second half where you went forward and he and he, he basically he's down to like seven players I think, uh, like three gutter runners, three players who are stunned on the floor, and the rat ogre, um, and he basically charges the rat ogre into it like. He actually hits hits a rotter on the edge of your cage, but you know frenzies himself into into base contact with your uh, ball carrier. Oh yeah, this, right. this, uh, this was this was a a really interesting turn. Like there's so few rats around, and right. uh, but you still got that rat. Right yeah, there. right in the in the middle there. It's not you, you know you think it's not too hard to deal with. <laughs> um, then the gutters come in. The, the lack of guard really bit me. Yeah, bit me a little I bit guess here. so. I mean, I think I, I think uh, you could have actually not base with strength five, so you could have just blitzed out of strength five, but you chose not to. Yeah. Uh, I was scared of the one in nine. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. The the one in nine. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, yeah, did get two skulls though, so twice in I, fact. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then. Um. And then the one in nine. <laughs> yeah, the the dice were awful. In this in this turn, yeah. this turn was double skulls into one in nine into double skulls approximately. Yikes! Mm. That's not fun. Leaving him the blitz into the cage was really really poorly played. Um, I could have could have done that a bit better. I could have tied up his right ogre and not allowed that. Mm. But, yeah. 
uh, it's weird because when when I watch my own games back, I don't necessarily look at the dice too much. I look at maybe how I could have um, could have positioned better to not allow that opportunity to arise. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the dice, you can drive yourself absolutely insane. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I I wouldn't. So I, I think you were kind of a bit greedy. Oh ah, another double. Shot. Trying to yeah. Oh, I was very good. Uh, try, I think you were greedily trying to hit the, the gusser runner. Whereas I think in that situation with the rat ogre on the ball, I would have just chain pushed the. I would have pushed the rat ogre. I would. I would have blitzed the rat ogre, and tried to chain push him into the gusser runner to push him out of the way as well, to like be able to shore up yeah. the the cage rather than go for that. No, that's what. That's one of those things. Like uh, I really need to. But before, uh, if you play me at the right time of day, uh, I. I don't concentrate very well, <laughs> and I don't think I, I don't think things through as much. So if you like play me at like seven, eight o'clock at night, you're probably in for like a good time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, if if I can play you, I like generally I try and play early on the weekends or something mm -hmm. like about midday, because it, uh, it it's just easier for me to play then. I'm, I'm a lot more awake and with it. <laughs> Right. Uh, and this clip actually starts with That's... me moving the mouse over towards the um, the pile of dead rats in the corner, uh, which includes which includes uh, the the storm vermin. Which includes the storm yeah. vermin. Yes. So now. Yeah, I got hold of it. Actually, did vermin. did manage to level this match, but also. Yeah. Leveled leveled to thirty one S thirty four or was it fifty four S fifty three fifty three SPP fifty three. Yeah. Got the MVP. Got the MVP and died. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good rat. Yeah, everyone's favorite, uh, favorite rat <laughs> and elf, dead one. I think um, there was a run of like deaths on double movement bus because if you um, if you selected him, he was actually on a double movement bus. Right. And there was a run of games uh, when when this game was actually played with double movement bus players actually dying. So uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that there was an irony no. that, that uh, yeah. amused me quite yeah, a lot. It seems like you, you, you managed to kill two rats, so you did you did good in that respect. Nuffle decided to take those who he'd previously just taken the ankles of. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. He, he crippled them and then took them. <laughs> the rats getting their lucky number of uh, thirteen SPP. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually have sadly no SPP levels voice. to talk about. No levels to talk about because the only much. person that level died. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is there anything else we need I to talk really about? I really tried hard for the rest of the division to remove the one like the one turner. The, yeah, I, I tried my best. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, in, in that clip, you were you were hitting the one turner rather than um, rather than than hitting <laughs> the rat <laughs> away from the ball. <laughs> what, I, yeah. what my plan was, because there was quite a lot of stuns around mm -hmm. that, was to was to pin pin the one onto the strength five, uh, push the gutter runner into where I was going to put the beast, because I actually moved the beast over and um, chain the rat ogre away. Mm. But yeah, yeah the, being, at the end of that turn, I do think way too quick. Yeah, there, there, I think at the end of that turn, there were three gust runners all next to the beast, if I remember rightly. Which was yeah, I was just like, oh, try and get away from Strand Six. That's... <laughs> yeah, that's you know, that's that's a scary, scary beast. Mm. And you've got a scary, scary semi beast coming yeah. up. You... Semi beast. Just two, two, two SPP beast. away now. Yeah, are you gonna three from getting the uh, stri... block of tentacles first? Uh, he has to get block. He just has to. Mm -hmm. there, there's. Um... Um, yeah, I'm really divided about how I'm building that, but I'm actually quite lucky. In um, I play uh, I play clan league with, um, and uh, my clan leader is actually Atomics, who um, who's in Rail mm -hmm. One, and right. Heat with a Nurgle team. So I'm gonna right. ask his advice on it and see what he does. <laughs> <gets. laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's fine. That, that that's that's quite handy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, the the, the trouble yeah. is, his advice is going to be well. It depends on what you know, what you're facing more of. But like you're, you know, you can you can build in with tentacles if you're facing a lot of elves or getting getting beaten by a lot of elves. But if you're getting beaten by yeah. other bash teams, then then you want guards, you know, before tentacles. Yeah. And maybe I think you, I've, I'd I'd say he picks up block then tentacles. Honestly. There's quite a few boring Nurgle players who will just give him Mighty Blow and Claw after block. 
Nah, which is like don't do that. That's entire cool. wall of, of Mighty Glow Claw Warriors. Think of the pitch control, though. Well, you know, <laughs> if you... Rib like, just, just you two, two tentacles players, one with strength 6, one with strength 5, can just lock down so many players. Think of the pitch control when you kill everyone, though. That's that's a lot of pitch control, too. Yeah, even better. <laughs> I, I, Think of I the really pitch control while you kill everyone with your other players. <laughs> So, I really enjoy the pitch control of, of the tentacles, but uh, one of my main focuses at the minute is just getting a second killer up so I can get yes. rid of the golden goose. Mm. Yeah. The, the niggle, the niggle before block is just just a killer. Ouch. Yeah, it's just a killer. But yeah, but, he's, uh, he's, kinda, he's only temporary, sadly. Mm, I kind of have to keep him because of just the lack of levels on the other testicles. Mm, yeah, I guess so. And no dirty players, or dirty players have been dying? Uh, I think dirty players have died. I don't know. I, I, I went through um, the start of last season. I didn't expect too much because I only got two um, two Greenhorn games in. Right. And the rest of the division had all four. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, I almost wish that I just started fresh and just went for a fresh diff. Right. But uh, I played down to Dark Owls. I actually beat the Dark Owls. And then... Uh, it, it just wasn't a very good season. I got some mm -hmm. some draws, some uh. losses. And towards the end of the season, I was out of contention anyway. So I was like, oh, let's try right. and level the Nurga Warriors, try and get some levels going. And uh, that didn't really pan out either. So, um, uh, yeah, it was, exactly. um, it was a bit desperate. As in you kept losing the ball rather than getting that, that um, touch, touchdown uh, on a warrior type thing. I actually played a game against Doctor Hat, had the draw in the bag pretty much, and uh, went for the handoff onto Bluebeard because Didn't he was 13 work. out of 16, <laughs> and uh, he dropped the ball. Adji 5 picked it up, threw it down the field, and uh, Doctor Hat scored. Mm. <laughs> yeah. one, That's one what of else us, do? One of us got some extra SPP that game. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> At least one of you got it, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, I wasn't too focused on winning or drawing or, or anything at that point. I was like, ah, oh. because uh, I went into my Nurgle team. I was like, ah, oh, two, three seasons development, make it into into a bit of a machine, have the right skills, and go up, go from there. But uh, yeah, hasn't hasn't been all plain sailing, unfortunately. It never is. <laughs> and there, there's another um, Agi two handoff later on that I'm going to whine about, so I'll I'll, I'll keep my I'll keep my. Uh, but um, actually, so 14 players, I'd I'd really want a a dose player roster in, or even two, yeah. like you know. I needed um yeah the reason why neither of those two uh, is a um, is a dirty player is because I literally had no tackle, mm. <laughs> and I just needed mm, something I want to, tackle. to stop people. Running, just blodging all over the place and stuff. So, yeah, they got yeah. they got a lot of use in this game as well. I noticed a lot of blitzes with the yeah. with the tackle rotters. Mm. That's fine. Uh, I just I just wanted to pin down these gutter runners. Yeah, as much as obviously. Possible and put them in well, a bad position and hit them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, make them roll armor. Armor. Okay. Is that uh? Were you happy yeah. with that? Move on to the next yeah. game. Right. Which is um, Disco Dave's Hellfish. Grinch against Fa Ah, your tanking against generals. me. Do you want to talk a little bit about this? Yes. Do you remember the game? I I do remember the game. Yes. Um, I won the kickoff, so I decided. Well, this is going to be a bash game, so I want to start off with the punching. Which is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I got a removal on a black orc first turn. Which yeah, is always nice. yeah, like a was it an, an injury or was it? It was a it was a, uh, uh, a miss. first one was a KO. Oh, okay, yeah, because I know, I know yeah the Blackhawks were at you know left the game quite quite a quite a lot yes. basically. Then again, so did my chaos warriors. Yeah, it was basically strength four yeah. didn't like staying on the pitch at all. For, for no, some reason. no, strength four <laughs> did really did not like staying on the pitch. It was like we we were both down. Um, I think two of our strength four players by turn four. Yeah. <laughs> Which was not fun because I originally I just you know planned on just grinding it out until uh, like until I really couldn't anymore. But since two of my chaos chaos warriors just left the pitch by then, I was forced to score by like I think it was my turn four. And, and, and I think leaving him I think both of you had used your apo as well by that point. So not yes. not just uh... um I 
Yeah, I decided to use my app on my uh, on my blood chaos warrior. Mm -hmm. Um, he wasn't permanently injured, but I felt like I just I needed all the strength I could in that game. Was that before he used his or? Because he that was before he used his. Because yes. he also power appoed to to use the phase. Yes. Um, I, I do not agree with that power apple, but yeah, he he power so no. the coach Disco Dave power appoed the uh, orc blitzer called Disco Dave. Was, it, was zero it, SPP orc blitzer? Yeah, was that was there some kind of nepotism? You know, did did he, did he do it just for the I, name? I, I assume <laughs> so, but I don't know. Like, um, I, I I still I still don't agree with it. He could have used it on a black orc later, but hmm. when I was um, when I was watching this game, when when I seen him apple. Apo, his uh, his namesake. Mm -hmm. I um, yeah, I I didn't agree with it at all either. I there was there was there was still a lot of pieces of his out there that that would have um, uh, had more more in the way of helping him to win the game or draw the mm -hmm. game or helping him yep. to get a better position within the match. And and uh, the power Apo on a rookie blitzer is just a just a no-no to me. Yeah. Although maybe he, you know, Orcs are a slow team. Maybe he really feels the loss of a Blitzer. Um, no, I guess. Um, I also, I like... Well, yeah, so I, I actually, so... But, but I played... The, the, first, uh, the first drive that, you, that, this, that this all happened in, he uh, he started off in defence, and he, he had his thrower on. I didn't understand why he had his thrower yeah. on when he could have had, you know, one of the linemen which is a bit safer, save the thrower for yes. for later. And having kept the, the thrower on, when he got a chance, he, so he, he knocked the ball free. He, he got a chance to pick up the ball. He got a chance ball, to pick yeah. up the ball, and he just based the ball. He put like three orcs around it. And then you hit one of the orcs into the ball. It scattered into an open yes, space. It bounced out, luckily. And you, you scored on the... Oh, yeah, talking of... So talking of uh, trying to hand off to level players. Right. What? Do you remember how the ball it ended up not... on the floor? Uh, 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 um, I, I, it seems to have completely slipped my mind. <laughs> it was a no. What, what, what I tried to do was, um, I, I realized now I should have, first of all, um, left my act, left my ball carrier uh, two spaces up, so he was actually protecting the ball a little mm -hmm. more. But I did try to hand off to a mighty blow player who was free FPP away from leveling, who I really wanted to have to level. And then I rolled two ones, I think. Uh, it was one and a two, I think. Oh, no, no, I know you're right. No, it was two ones. It was two ones, yeah. But it, it, it could have been. It was a one, you know. You needed a three to... Yeah, it could, it could have been yeah. either or. It was a one in nine. Yeah. Um, uh, I yeah. did actually catch that bit of the match. Uh, I was... If you were going to go for that, I was surprised at how open you left it. Or maybe yeah. It would have been he, he, he basically position. handed, really handed from the centre of the, of the cage to the, one of the corners. <laughs> Without without yes. moving first, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit a bit dumb. Uh, it all it, it it got me one more turn of, turn of stalling, and and so. also got yeah, got yeah. Jeb Stewart the third, and also got Jeb Stewart the third level. Yeah. Yes, importantly, yes, slow now. What what I also found really um interesting about that first drive was he just gave me the sideline, hmm. basically. He just he, he lined up his players like he 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 did go backwards, but he didn't like try to block me or anything. I mean, you know, maybe he's he's been burnt from over committing, and like it's it's not that bad. Yeah. To make you know, he he, you scored turn four, four. Like, I you know, think. he, he gets another four turns to score back. Five, five two. turns, yeah. Uh, Which you know, it should be I doable, actually... right? Sorry, yeah. I interrupted you before when you. Um, uh, I I just wondered because um, I was kind of really busy while this match was playing mm -hmm. and I kind of had it on in the background and I glanced over occasionally I can't remember whether he held the middle of the pitch when when he forced you down the sideline or whether he just completely gave oh up the yeah no, th th there was a mass of orcs in the remember. middle the the orcs were a big okay. clump basically yeah yeah um, orcs were just a big clump in the middle that was in fact uh, that's I'm, the definition of the orc play for most of the game as, as far as I'm concerned was <laughs> Um, it, like, he kept together really well. Maybe sometimes you got around his edges and got to hit the ball, but largely they were all in a big group, group together, which was also one of the problems. So he didn't score in the five turns he was given, right? And that was because nope. he didn't push forward enough. He, did, he could have. He didn't push forward. He, enough. he could have had two or three blitzers in scoring range. Uh, you know, in turn in turn but, six, let alone turn seven. 
Yeah, but it was by turn seven he put one blitzer in scoring range, and I just pushed him yeah, back. Yeah, he was he was within scoring range, as in two GFIs within scoring range. Yes. Oh yes, I sent that yeah. one. I sent, and you were just like, yeah, I just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just blitz him back and just run yeah. away. <laughs> And just push him back, and then he can't do anything. Yeah, and and that was that was that was it. That was his last action of turn seven. If any of the other things in turn seven had gone wrong, he wouldn't have had any scoring threat at all. No, it, it was his last yeah. chance to get something in scoring range, and it was his like, like last thought almost was, yeah, okay, fine, I'll I'll send that blitzer over there. Right, and then then one nil up the second half, and the second half was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Because none of my KO players came back, I think. I, yeah, so two drives, none of them came back for either of them. You, I, you failed. I'm, I'm, I, I failed seven KO rolls. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, I think you succeeded two. It, yeah, and those successes were in the fourth drive, weren't they? We're in the last. Yeah, yeah the last. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so I basically had four. to defend against eleven orcs with seven of my players. While watching the game, I thought um, I thought playing down men that you played really really well. That you actually um, you actually had um, a couple of two die hits on the ball carrier mm -hmm. as well, didn't you? Yeah, and, I, and I, the, I got yeah. the ball down a couple of times. Even. Yeah, horn, horns uh, really yeah. helps. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, horns does really help. Hey, you use you use what you're given, don't mm. you? <laughs> yeah, sadly, but, sadly um, it was not meant to be. But the amount of pressure that you were able to put on his offensive drive. Almost down to well one and a half to to every one of his. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. one of yours. Uh, <laughs> it was just it was just interesting to me that because um, I thought the Orcs would have really leaned into you once they started to get you down yeah, players, it especially. Didn't really happen. I think I think they removed your claw bloke as well, didn't they? Yes, yeah. they fouled him off the pitch, and I didn't didn't have use yeah. of him for the second half. There, there was a, there was uh, a lot of fouling, as, even a, a suit. Yeah, as soon as he removed your claw, mighty blow guy, um, I played orcs in clan actually. Funny, funny, yeah. funny side note. But um, as soon as I would have removed your claw, mighty blow piece, I would have really leaned heavily onto your yeah. team and, and forced you in, forced you into a worse position, and, and given myself a bit more freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't really happen. No, he, he left his ball open a couple of times to like uh, one dodge and two device. Which one? Yeah, I, at, yeah. at that point, I'm just gonna take that because it's pretty much last straw. Yeah, um, I was I was surprised that either he didn't lean into you or he didn't he didn't screen his cage. I was I was a bit yeah, about that one, but yeah, you know, when I say he was a blob, he was kind of a he, yeah, he didn't have a. A very solid cage, let's say. Um, yeah. And I also note, like he he yeah. fouled with a with a black hawk a couple of times. Yes. After got a double. After the uh, after the bribe was used, even was like. Even after the bribe. I think so. But even I think he did it uh, once. Did or it, was it just with the bribe? Didn't the black hawk. Didn't didn't when he fouled with the black hawk. His black hawk was a one in six away from being sent. Yeah, yeah. The bribe. The, the yes, yes. It was a double, and uh, he, the bribe worked. That's... It was not a one. Yeah, sadly. I was. Um, I, I was. I, 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 I'm not a fan of, of. I mean, it's just a no no for me to just foul with positionals. Like, there, there's like a 16.6% .6 chance that you're just going to lose your strength four player right mm. there. In a bash matchup, it's, it's worth. Where, where so you've much. already lost like one or two of yeah. them. Yeah. Um, but you both did quite well for levels. So, yeah, uh, we both got three level, both ups. level ups. Um, uh, all normals on my side at least. So, you... so I picked up Claw on Jeb Stewart the third, mm -hmm. uh, Guard on the MA busted lineman mm -hmm. uh, Goat, who's just who's just he's, he's just a lineman, like for the line of scrimmage. You're happy with him getting hit, and you do get that thing, yeah, thing with th chaos where everyone's got something. You're you know you have trouble finding who the three three LOS goats are at, at some point. Yeah, but this 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 is, this is gonna be one yeah. of them. And then the other non-skilled goat also got the level up, which is just boring old block. Mm -hmm. um. Um, you actually have quite a nice varied team. You've got your you've got your frenzy piece. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I would have gone frenzy before block, but, but <laughs> well, um, you, some people yeah. don't even go block. Some people go juggernaut. 
off the frenzy. Yeah, he's, pick, oh, yeah, I've, if he's, he's picking up Juggernaut after frenzy. Yeah. And then stand firm and then block yeah. eventually, type thing. <laughs> yeah, that I I really like your your var variants in pieces because you're not really tied down to just having a bash match. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not so, really kill yeah. chaos, am I? Well, yeah, you can do a little bit of everything. It's, mm -hmm. I don't see no tentacles or tail or or uh, you know. I'm I'm <laughs> gonna get tentacles on the on the strength five. I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed that your uh, your uh, chaos haven't turned more into Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly but surely. No one no one's taking foul appearance. <laughs> I, I, am, not, I am not devastated. Not As no. a Nurgle coach, I am ah, devastated. So sorry. Maybe maybe I'll reroll into Nurgle next season. There's enough Nurgle. We don't need more Nurgle. Jesus. <laughs> no, we do. Everyone needs more Nurgle. <laughs> Everybody can join the Nurgle team. Even in <laughs> even involuntarily. <laughs> yeah, we're dying. When you, die and get you can join the Nurgle team. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will I will have you know that the, some some rap lipser from last week voluntarily yes. joined the team. All oh, right. <laughs> Just him. <laughs> Not sure if that's voluntarily. I don't know. I don't know if being killed is is volunteering. Just saying. <laughs> Well, he didn't argue. <laughs> <laughs> In, interestingly, so so moving on to to uh, Disco Dave's levels, uh, he has gone for a second tackle before any mighty blow. So the opposite huh. of that um, chaos thing, and he's got block on his thrower now, and he also rolls plus agi. Is this plus, is this the plus agi? Yeah, yeah, plus agi lineman. Plus agi lineman. I mean, fair, I guess. I don't, I don't think I'd take the plus agi there. I think I'd take 30 player. I mean, uh, you can use plus agi. It's not, it's not a bad thing. Although, I'd, yeah, I'd build yeah. it, I'd get him block and then get him short hands and then sack off the thrower. Still has only two team rerolls. I mean, if you, when you've uh, got... Block short hands. Yeah, what do you need it for? Did he... I don't know. Just don't, just don't make mistakes, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but this, this like, like I I already said in Discord, this was a surprisingly bloody non bloody match because there are no permanent injuries. Yeah, just one MNG on my side. I'm actually quite surprised how much he managed to um, how much he managed to remove your team considering how yeah. like, well, no mighty blow, how non-existent his mighty blow is other than the troll. Yeah. I mean, I was very angry at the dice. I, I I thought the same when I was dealing with the rats about myself as well. No mighty blow. That mm -hmm. amount of injuries was a, a little bit insane. But you know, just hitting things, you have a chance for things to get removed, and it just Even, eventually, yeah, yeah we just block. You know, it's, you don't need my blow. People often get like, "Oh my god, my mice blow didn't fire," and or, "Oh my god," you know. But actually, block. You know, you, sometimes you just roll lots of nines or tens. <laughs> Yeah, tense. block guard is good. Mm -hmm. Block guard on an old team is. Yeah, block guard is fine. He needs more guard. Yeah, uh, like, on the black orc. He does. He's he's going to. Uh... He's, he's he's got he's got two black orcs like three and four SPP mm -hmm. away. We're probably also just going to pick up guard. He's, well, he's a... he could struggle later in the season without the guard. He's 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 about eleven guard away from the correct amount for an orc team to have. <laughs> <laughs> well, think 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 I'll get that many. Yeah, they can only get nine. No, you get d doubles as well. You need to, you need a couple of nah. linemen with doubles. Um, <laughs> I've watched quite a lot of um, um, the Big O coach Papa Nasty play. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I noticed quite a lot with his blitzers when they rolled the double to go into Blodge. That he'd go with stand firm, which is quite an interesting. Yeah, no, bl Blodge firm Blodge is nice. Blodge firm is really irritating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You ju it just means he gets to punch you back when you do Yeah, you just put him next to someone, huh? Get me down now. Yeah. You, you need to roll the six. Good it's luck. One, one thing people don't think about is, you know, it's, it's one thing the tactical advantage of stand firm, but it it also gets you more hits as people as mm -hmm. people try and stand toe to toe with you and then get hit back more often. Yeah. No. Okay, should we move on to the next one? Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's really anything today. Ah, so the next one is the last one that I watched a little. Oh, wait, uh, is it? It's the last one I've. You did. I yeah. watched a bit of the video for, and that is uh, Doctor Hep's Pro Elves um, against the Norse, whose name I'm not going to pronounce. Tickles. Oh yeah, t yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't want to butcher another language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, ah, you can speak Slovenian. Can't you? <laughs> 
<laughs> Teak, let us... I barely speak English. I, I, I uh, certainly couldn't manage that. It's, it's <laughs> roughly translated as the dragons of the north. Yeah. We'll uh, just call yes. them the dragons. <laughs> the dragons. I like that. Mm. <laughs> um, um, so the just from a statistic standpoint, it was a bloody game. Uh, I, I, it was sixteen removals. I, I've got two clips from this game, <clears throat> and. Uh, the first one is basically turn one, so not literal. Excellent, I've just got a ticket for, for an Imperium game. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you should be able to set, set up like streaming or whatever, so it doesn't doesn't do alerts. Anyway, um, the so the first turn, uh, the Norse get the ball. They remove the uh, thrower. So he still hasn't played with a thrower in his team for more than a turn in the last oh, three. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> the thrower got killed again. Like, first turn. First action. First thing no, happened. He didn't, he didn't Before he picked up the ball, right. he killed the thrower. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I... And then uh, we'll go into the, the clip, yeah. which is... Is it really dead? Oh, no, no, sorry. It's, no, it no, was, no, uh, no. Sorry, it wasn't dead. It was it was. It was, just, it was just badly yeah, dead. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess when you're when you, when you're with this team, you put the thrower on the line and the two loners. Yeah. 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 Throw it to learners, yeah. Um So it's the Not start of the of the uh, pro elves turn one. Oh, they've got uh, Edril, by the way, who survived for a, a, a large portion of this game. And they start by um, actually, it's I think it's kind of a poor defending by the the uh, Norse that one um, gaze on that yeti. And there's a massive hole that opened up. Right, oh, there is a massive hole yeah. there. Yeah. So stick a guard in there. Oh wow. Yep. Stick a guard in there and then blitz. Yep. Doctor F is a massively aggressive coach as well. He is. Yeah. Yes. Um, which it, which makes it really fun to watch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pain to play. Against. Yeah. He definitely like. I'm like, surprised he didn't go in with the tackle. I'm. Yeah, bit. I'm uh, because there was I mean, there was this, guard on this is this is strength four though. Uh, yeah, because there was guard on both sides, so he got mm -hmm. two dice rather than than a tackle hit. All right, that's fine. Uh, oh, that's uh, that's well played from Doctor. Although yeah, that that last run in, pick up the ball and lob it forward. Oh no! Also, sorry, the bit before that where he puts the guard in base contact for no real Ooh. reason I can see. That's, I don't really like no. that. No, uh, but the Norse then start their turn with with a double skull. <laughs> <laughs> Which I like, I like him just throwing it away. Oh, well, I, can, <laughs> I can see what he was doing. He, he was denying the assist. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah. Wait, it might be turn. More hitting. And kicker goes down. Basically, you know, the, the Norse game plan was to hit things as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And another double skull. So, so much for just hitting things. Um, there's a there's an argument to be made. There were other blocks that were a bit more important to retrieving your ball. Hmm. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, at least uh, the pro elves have to use a reroll to get it in. But still, like so that that's that's literally their turn two, oh. and they turned the ball over and scored. But as mentioned, they've lost the thrower. Yeah. Uh, I, I, um, <clears throat> the aggression did did uh, you know it went down a bit after this point because because mm -hmm. the pro started losing players. Did you say you watched this? Was it stream? Uh, I watched a part of it, but it, I didn't get to um, watch it because I didn't I didn't actually get back in until turn thirteen, which ouch. is when I was able to try like pick it up, mm -hmm. and I picked it up yeah. and I seen I kind of seen what had happened. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> I was just like, this is a, this is a bad day at the office for Doctor Hat. But it it started off very with, well with, with the way, yeah. with the way that he plays. It's kind of, it, he said it himself. It's it's a very boom or bust, isn't it? He's, he's either going to win three 0 or going to lose. Mm, yeah, that's, that's what he said last week, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. He, he he acknowledges that and. Uh, it's just so so much fun to watch him play this way. It is. Like, I really enjoy coaches who can do this because I'm so risk adverse as a coach. <laughs> that, uh, that, that stuff like this just horrifies me. <laughs> I'm just like, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to take that risk. 
I don't, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to. But he, he plays an interesting style. Yeah, the, the Pro Elves ended up with like two players left in the first half, let, let alone there was like one mm, yeah. one player at the end of the game left on the pitch. <laughs> Not quite a pitch. Yeah, player. I mean, from, from the stats we can see that it's like 47 blocks, 30 armor breaks. Almost 10 KOs, course. 6 casualties. Yeah. Ouch. I haven't looked at um, Dr. Hep's KO rolls. Um, I presume they wasn't amazing. But, uh, uh, no, play, players came yeah. back. I think one of I think he had like at one point he had five oh, players was... who were wow. who were KO'd and they all came back. Oh, oh this could have been a lot worse. No, no, it could there. have been a lot worse. It was 85 percent on the KO rolls. Yeah. Yeah. 12, 12, Twelve successes, two failures. Wow. You got that, lucky. That, I mean, yeah, kind of. You, you say you got lucky. Kind of. I, I mean, admittedly as well. Yeah, he, he did get lucky because Edgel lived until at least turn thirteen, where he, he <laughs> as his as his custom died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much a rule of love, yeah. isn't it? Edgel has to die. Usually, Edgel dies. He, like, he, normally, he does like one gaze and then gets killed by whoever he's gazing. Right. So when he when he gazed that yeti, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, that's that's him. You know, uh, uh, that's that's the end yeah. of him. <laughs> when he stood next to the yeti, I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he also lost the kick lineman, so it looked to death as well. Yep. But everything it like yep. kick uh, lineman died. The rest there survived. was a lot of death this week. Wasn't uh, there was, like, <laughs> there was. I think averaging one a game is 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 actually normal. I think I think you know you should expect for like one death roll every game. Maybe you should, yeah, yeah, most of the time that gets happened. Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you you hold on to someone more important to, to Apo, or you mm -hmm. you power mm -hmm. Apo a player instead. Um, yep. Yeah. So the uh... it definitely won. Per so this 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 was basically just a quick two turn score, but the other way around for the elves, mm -hmm. and then the Norse team just beat them up afterwards for for daring to score on turn yeah. two. Yeah, and then the, so the, then the Norse scored at the end of the first half, and then and battered then them for the next eight as well, turns I guess. as well. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, although All I do right. have another clip. Wait a second, what's the other clip? Um, oh. This is I can't even see. Oh, it's. Turn ten, so it's the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so that was so the first half was actually um, no. It's Ed Eldriel still lives after this. The first Ooh. half was the Norse um, drive, right? So this is in the second half. The pro elves. This is the pro, this elf, is the pro elf drive, yes. and essentially he just rolls so many dice, and is trying oh, to wow. score. Are you? You could score from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, he can if you. Um, would you have decided to score with Eldru instead here? What you think? Uh, no, so he used Eld Eld Eldru could have just e more easily. Uh, not, I guess not. Uh, no. yes, no, yeah, you're right. Actually, he could have. So he moved Ed Eldru to to gaze the berserker, um, yeah. to make the pass oh, possible. See. But he could have act yes. he could have actually handed off the to Edril, who's got um, nerves of steel, and would have caught it without yeah. a need for a throw. That would have been like three less dice to yes. roll. You're right, but it would also mean wow. SPP going to Edril instead of going e to one player. That's true. Although I, I think Edril does have catch built in as well. Yeah. So I yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a high he's a pro of catcher, so he's got he's got all the stat line and skills of pro of catcher plus. Uh, pass block, pass block, and and, hip, and, and, and uh, hip, hypno gaze, and dodge. They don't start with dodge today. And dodge. Uh, he went for the surf as well. Yeah. Like why? Well, why not? <laughs> yeah, so At that point, I would go for it as well. The I Norse. I think I would. A bit like I was mentioning with that orc team earlier. They they didn't really worry so much about the ball as as just trying to murder the opposition and slowly grind down the pitch, <laughs> which is you know which is unsurprising <laughs> really. Um, oh, that was the Necker, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um. Ah, but there was one thing. So, um, I was, we were talking before about handing off to Aji too. Um, oh, did that happen here with the? Elf? Yeah, they had. So I didn't. I didn't record that that bit. But um, the touch the touchdown in turn eight was um, an Ulf standing in in the end zone being handed right. off to on turn eight when there were like Why? there were like three pro elves left in turn six right they could have easily 
done the handoff in a kind of safe area. I I mm. didn't like the uh, the handoff to the off in the in the end zone and on I... the last turn. I, I tend to forget about handing off to to like the players I want the touchdowns mm -hmm. on, so I can see it. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's a bit easier with the chaos, though, isn't it? Cause chaos, like, yeah. With chaos, it's easier. But, but we were talking I'm, about we were originally talking about with Nurgle, so I'm I'm talking about Agi too, right? Yeah. So if you get handoff to a warrior, yeah. you don't hand off in turn sixteen or turn eight. You do it a turn or two before. Uh, no, I done it. I done it <laughs> turn thirteen. Yeah, exactly. I just got Agi five done. <laughs> <laughs> mm, ouch. Oh, trust me, I spent the entire game trying to, trying to crush Can we that. also talk about the ridiculous dice in this clip, by the way? He starts off with three sixes. Yeah. And rolls another two sixes. That's what happens when you only need, you only need ones. You only need not ones. You only notice those ones. And then, and then you roll two ones mm -hmm. and then just... Uh-oh. He rolled all the sixes at the wrong time, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, nothing. Nothing was more than a three plus, right? Well, yeah. Uh, dodge out was a. Yeah, I think the hypno gaze was the dim was the most uh, difficult one. Which, yeah. The 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 dodge out actually had a built in move because uh, Aldo dodges. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 the uh, the anti five pro elf who goes into the end zone. Um. It's two plus two plus. No, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Two plus two plus. So yeah. But the, the first one the, is without tackle, uh, is without dodge because tackle. Oh, okay. it'd, be, it'd be interesting to work out whether whether just pass it to Eldrill. I think the score was easier on, on Eldrill better, actually. Better. Yeah. Oh, the the score was much easier by giving it to El Eldrill, but I wouldn't do that just because I wouldn't want to waste the SVP on him. Ah, uh, true. Wasn't that much harder, honestly. I mean, there's there's the other question: How important is this game to win versus? You know, uh, getting the SVP on yeah. the white guy. That's true. I mean, this is this is also a free plus pass, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. T T Cold is defending the handoff to the off. Uh, he was three away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was on thirteen SVP, and I I, I totally think you should have handed off to him. I just think you should have handed off to him mm. in turn six or seven rather than turn eight. That's all. And yeah, and yeah. I guess I yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I didn't get to watch the first half, unfortunately. But um, as as Core Knight says, if he's three down, if you can just um, screen off and just hand off to your guy. I I I, I you know I'm I'm being I'm also I'm I'm being a little bit harsh. You know I'm I'm saying uh, you know in a perfect world you should be doing this. I'm not saying that I always do the right thing as well. <laughs> just to, just to put that out there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, I never do the right thing. You should really take my own yeah. advice. <laughs> you, just, you, just, you just get lucky sometimes. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it works. <laughs> sometimes in the moment that you don't you don't really think about these things too much, do you? But um, yeah, in a, in a perfect world, you'd give yourself free turns and you'd just hand off to him. And just... Uh, I don't think I'd do it in the last turn. If it falls yeah. on the ground, it's still protected. Yeah. And, in the booth, and also, so after, yeah, yeah, uh, he totally agrees. He was sweating at the handoff, but he was greedy. <laughs> totally fair. Um, Sometimes greed is um, yeah. So <laughs> we just had one level. This yeah, game. that's the handoff Ulf, who also got a, got Never a Kaz me. straight after getting those uh, those three SPP. How frustrating! He's, he's got plus it? seven yeah. SPP this yeah. game. When you try and level a dude, seven. and then he and then he levels himself anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like ah. Oh. Well, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, with the touchdown, he would have been on 15. No, he would... Without the uh, touchdown. He would have been on 16. Oh, yeah. Oh, 15. No, he was on... Touchdown is three, yeah, yeah, he was on 13 before the touchdown. So he, he, he started the game on 11. He got two from uh, from yeah. doing a Kaz. Two from a Kaz. And then he got where? handed off to... Oh, he didn't level him. So but I'm, I'm yeah. just saying, if, if he wouldn't have scored the touchdown, then he wouldn't have been leveled. Yeah, yeah, right yeah you're right. Yes. Oh, sorry, I see what you mean. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, <laughs> he, he would have had to go for a pass. Wouldn't yeah. He? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hand off and pass. And I'm not denying that I haven't done that. Till, uh, You're till not denying that you haven't. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. Do you mean that that I have yeah. done it with the uh, Nogo Warriors? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've, I've done it. I've done it with right. the Kemri Tomb Guardian once or twice. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> nice. 
I'd love to right. see a clip of oh. the bat and the ball. That sounds amazing. Yeah. So, uh, basically, got another Garda. So, yep, that's fine. Four Guard now, five actually, mm -hmm. which is scary. That's a very scary North. That's good. Yeah. It could all just implode, but it looks amazing when it's like. I that. mean, at least he's got to be giving away like 200k to everyone. Pretty much. Um. I don't know, but, it depends how late in the season you play him and how much mighty blow he's had to take on the AD side. Mm, yeah, true. Even then, I think yeah. they, they're going to they're gonna do well outbashing most of the other teams, right? There aren't yep. very many teams outbashing. I really, I really, yeah, I really like the way that he's built it up. He's got a nice selection of guard. The the stat-ups always help, yeah. obviously. Uh, one, one dedicated the, killer who's strength four. Yeah, the, the uh, three mighty blows are very nice man. In, not including the big dude. Mm. Yep. And three and four guard and it's, yeah, it's a, generally a, a great team. Oh, it's got two tackers as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got a nice selection. It's one of the things with with they, Norse linemen because they only get they, general access. You kind of run out of things to get them, so you get get them. Tackled. I wonder about your yeah. I wonder about the dirty player guard. He's movement. I mean, he rolled doubles after dirty player, so he gets guard. Yeah. He's That's, yeah. he's a utility player. You're upset that you wasted. <laughs> You're upset that you wasted dirty player. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's well, true. Well, what else would you got with the normal with him? Fend. But would you've got Fend if you hadn't known he was going to get cards? No, I I don't I don't hundred percent took dirty player. Mm. But when yeah, you rolled the doubles, yeah. I'd be so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't this have I'm been not, on some other guy? I'm fire him. I just said I'd be really annoyed. <laughs> it's fine, you know. In the beginning of the game, he's guarder. At the end of the game, he's a fowler. It's a great combination, you know. He's doing yeah. doing yep. both jobs. He, he's yeah, he's a two way player. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> both ends of the pitch. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the remaining games, I haven't actually. Uh, is that, oh, sorry. We we happy with all that? That the yeah, yeah. yeah. Remaining games we haven't watched. No, so um, um <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, my apologies. Like, I've been like, I had an assignment, Jim. Just so everybody knows, I, I mean, you're, 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 you're just a guest. Yeah, well, <laughs> it shouldn't be. I, I don't even think that we need to feel guilty for not watching all the games. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, you know, it's just one of those things. All right. Well, yeah. Then final two games. Then. Yeah. Um. I guess I'm going to show the schedule now, which I've been assiduously avoiding showing. Um, Why would you do that? Just, just so that uh, you know, it's no, so there's surprises. You know, so you don't see what the results are. I don't know. All right. After, uh, after, uh, guess, after previous uh, weeks of just just showing this, I'm trying to make up for it by not showing it at all, just to annoy you in the other way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess, no. Well, all right. I guess the first. First of all, all right. We have the orc team. The happy sons. The happy sons. Yep. He's coach, coached by Proudwing. Versus the dark side, coached by Stirka. Uh, uh, I I wondered how you said that. I I'm saying Stirka. I just uh, the dark yeah. side. Uh, the oh, dark no, side. I'm just I'm no, I'm just being stubborn. It's just the dark side. He just made a typo. <laughs> uh, that 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 there is a word like that. It's something like Sidi, isn't it, or Sede or something? Yeah. But uh, obviously, it's supposed to be dark. a pun on the dark side, so it's easier to say. <laughs> ah. It's Irish. I originally, yeah. I, I, I originally, right. um, I originally I thought it was like some Star Wars play on words thing. <laughs> 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 so, and then I, and then I was like, uh, I guess not. I, I was like really excited. Well, hang on, was, hang like, on. This, this, is, 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 is these names are are these all like Irish, uh, Irish like criminals? Batman, well, no, Ned, maybe Ned Kelly's Australian. All right. Well, at, at least they're all Batman. Yeah, right? plausibly. <laughs> I don't know who Cactus is. Cactus Jack, I guess. <laughs> He's Cactus, not Cactus. Oh, Cactus! Oh, I've got no idea. Uh, I have no idea who Cactus. And by the way, either. if he's Irish, then you're probably pronouncing that completely wrong. It's probably pronounced Rohin. Yeah. <laughs> it apparently is. Uh, it's from Roman mythology. So they're they're all uh, baddies. Not Irish. In some way. Oh what? Uh, fire. Kakos was a fire breathing giant and the son of Vulcan. He was killed okay, by Hercules yeah. after terrorizing the Aventine Hill before the fight. So, yes, he was a bad guy. Okay. 
I actually love your team, too, man. That, that's, <laughs> that's a lovely team. Yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> It's always good when people put a bit of effort into the naming rather than just having some. No. Oh, oh Dick yeah. Turpin, of course. Richard D. Turpin is Dick Turpin. Yes. Uh, Dick Turpin. Highway <laughs> robber. Yeah. Oh. There's a there's a serious amount of blood on this team, isn't there? <laughs> I mean, yes. They're getting there. I mean, that, that's got well, that's what you get blodge when your team refuses to roll doubles. You just have to big blodge and roll. Yeah, blodge step. And uh, everyone. No diving tackle yet. Is it? Diving tackle will be nope. the next. Uh, probably no. on the blood steps. Blood, blood step, diving tackle. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's, that's it. annoying. That's, you're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen most of the most of the dark elf teams in 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 the league though? They tend to get murdered because essentially their their um, game plan is to stand next to things and stop stop them from moving. And when things don't get to move, yeah. they hit back instead. Yes. So there's lots of dark elf teams which are like four or five players because people keep getting murdered. Not this one. No, not yet. Give him a chance. This 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 this, this one's been surprisingly sturdy all <laughs> through minus one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, no, I I like mm. I like the double rackle. I I, I'm, I am a mm -hmm. no triple rackle. No oh, damn. Uh, you got a kicker. Yeah, you've got a lot of lot of things you need. It's basically you know it's it's, it's a good dark elf team. Yeah. It's it needs double. It needs yep. more doubles. It needs some mighty blow. You know. It's mind you, ideally on the witch elf or on one of the blitzes. Yeah. Um, but... And maybe a, a stat up would be nice because they're pretty yeah, vanilla with just, just three just, strengths just... everywhere. I mean, we, we're, we're criticizing this team now, but there's nothing he can do about it. No, right? yeah, yeah. You need to roll your roll better dice, goddammit. Why are you not rolling good dice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> roll better level ups. Yeah. It, it's, it's a shame. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you get a really bland team like so... this, I, I, I'm so tempted to re-roll it if it was. They're not me. even that. They're not even that bland. <laughs> it's you know, it's it's still a style. They're still, it's just the dark elf style, right? <laughs> That's what dark yep. elves do. They all get blodge, sidestep, tackle, and diving tackle. Yeah, yeah. You know. Right. Uh, it, it's difficult because you hope for <laughs> doubles, don't you? So you can get like two, three guard on it. Really, yeah. And they were playing against the Fun Orcs with a plus movement troll and uh... <laughs> a plus movement troll. Uh, yes. I love it. This is like my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, the team plus who's, all, who's also managed to pick up block. Yeah. Uh, I mean, actually, it's a it's a really good orc team. There's nothing wrong with it anywhere at all. No, it's yeah, it's, a it's close team. to perfect. Uh, you know, loads of guard, uh, loads of might blow. Yeah, the the full guard is it. Yeah, four four, player, yeah. twelve players. Um, you could make an argument that you could go for a, for a, a slightly deeper bench. Mm. But, eh. I There's would assume he picks up a he picks up one or two bench after the next game. I think. Yeah. Because he'll be um, above one fifty then. Mm. There, there's not there's not too much in the division in in the ways of claw might you blow. So. Yet. Yet at least. Um, but there's, there's, I there's, was there's, keeping there's, it a there's, 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 I mean, there's, there's four. There's four teams with with full MB eventually. Um, so, oh, more than that. The worst matchup in a division for him is is the Norse, isn't it? It's the only one that's really gonna gonna scare him. Mm. Your, I mean, mm, your chaos team, yeah. the Nurgle team, with the, once they get. I mean, you've got some claw mighty blow, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Failfish. Um, we've, we've both we've both got some claws. I've got two now, and uh, Innovation has one. Has one niggled one. They're, yes, we 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 have one with a star on it. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. oh, he's facing the goblins next week. Oh, that's boring. Wait, who is? No, I'm not saying because we're oh, yeah. going through that. Okay, too, okay. But... All right. So uh, it was a draw. We don't know anything about it. You know, it was probably a very very boring game. Dark elves against orcs. <laughs> there was some hitting. There was some sidestepping. There was, there was, there um, was some dark elves getting injured. There was actually a total of 51 blocks, which actually isn't that many. That's 30 from the Yorks, 21 from the dark elves. Ah. Oh, well, that is. That's, uh, yeah. That's dark not, elves that's disengaging, I guess. We've got um, six KOs, one injury, inflicted by the Yorks onto the dark elves. Right. So, um, maybe on Did the dark get a dark elf of offense. Moves, but... Yeah. Nothing. Uh, it would depend on the KO rolls. KO rolls. Have, uh, it's have a look. Uh, four and four. 
44, 50 percent. That's mm -hmm. not awful. Nope. So uh, what, what would that say? Um, I, I'm <coughs> guessing the orcs started on off and <coughs> managed to hit some stuff. KO'd, KO'd quite a lot of the dark elves. Then Half dark the dark elves nice. have come back <coughs> and they've, they've just managed to stall it out long enough to get the one-one draw. Mm -hmm. By the looks of it. I think um, so. Yeah. Yeah, because the Dark Elves have quite a nice possession stat as well. I bet both the yeah. teams were mostly in the other in the yeah, other half of the ball have. as well, so they didn't spend much time yeah, in their own half. It's, a, it's definitely right. still. Mm. Uh, so we did get one level up this game. Yep, the movement, sure hands, tackle, blitzer. Um, yeah, it's picked up in guard. guard. But you know, again, making him the useful on both. The ball carrier, that's not, not that's not too bad. No. Uh, with the move, with He's the movement, I'd either I'd have considered taking strip ball, making him a ball sacker as well uh, as pick upper type thing. But you know, would, guards would you better. Considered stand firm. Or... Yeah. Why would know. you want stand firm? I don't know. I I like it. I do. I like it because it means that you can't be chain pushed. It, it, it is a good. Sport. Oh yeah, on a yeah. ball carrier as well. Yeah. Oh, you can actually get. Yeah, you can actually just sightline cage then. Mm -hmm. with him. Yeah, it stops stops you getting pushed. And also that thing that you did, Failfish, where the player was pushed out of range. You can't do that if they've got sand firm. No, you can't do that if they have sand mm. firm. Unless you have juggernauts, but... But guard is a lot more utilitarian, though, isn't it, basically? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Makes him a, makes him a two-way right. player, doesn't it? <laughs> um, oh, I... I uh, we also have the Dark Elves. Uh, yeah, one of the, but it was like a lineman getting blocked or something. Or something yeah, from Fra 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 Diavolo getting block, dodge, or whatever. Nothing important. Refusing to roll doubles once again. <laughs> or stack he got, up. He got, he, got, <laughs> he, he got wrestle. How hard is it to get a 1 in 6? I mean, honestly, 1 in 6. <laughs> so it's 1 in 6 either way. So yeah. That's, that's the fun so part. So 2 1 in 6s. Um, <laughs> it's not 2 1 in 6s, is it? It's 11 or something, anyway. Uh, it's 11 rolls out of 36. No, not get you. 10. Double. 10. Yeah. It's two, two of the doubles are uh, all signed. Yeah, I, I'm saying 11. It's 10. <laughs> it's 11. <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. It's, it's normally, <laughs> like, it's normally one, one in six, so that's six mm -hmm. for each. Right? So that's 12. Mm -hmm. But one of them is double sixes. Mm -hmm. So that's 11. Oh, wait. Ah. It's, yeah, one, one of them is double fives as well. <laughs> there we go. So it's 10. <laughs> it is 10. Damn it! <laughs> you got me. Yeah. You're taking st you're taking the stat ups there, aren't you? Uh, you well Probably. depends. Yes. Sometimes depends on who. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd take plus MA on the lineman, but for the rest, yes, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, double five. You uh, take a double uh, rather than the stat up. Yeah, of course. Double five on a blitzer. Uh, yeah, that'd be mighty blow. I don't know. I think I'd take the double. I take the mighty blow. That'd be mighty blow. Maybe. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Be. Movement's pretty good on on the fastest Dip. player. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Final match. I guess. Yeah. Is the uh, arrogant bar stewards. Mm. Are the... This is the kingfisher knights. Kingfisher knights. Rug Rugbart versus Lord Owl. Oh, they're right next to each other. Oh, the humans. Yes. Yes. The humans uh, who had a field day, uh, apparently. Oh, I remember. I remember yeah, this. The talk about this. So we hadn't. We didn't watch this. <laughs> but the high elves got mullered, didn't they? Absolutely murdered. Yeah. The, the, the high elves went from being second uh, in TV in the division to this. They second last. They started on. They started on eighteen twenty, and they're now on thirteen hundred. So a full five hundred TV re removed. They've been a colour. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of elf, yeah. a dead elf. <laughs> yep, uh, three oh, of very true. He's still got, he's still got really nice players. Three of the elves. He still has really nice players. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's still got like it's not a bad team for a thirteen hundred team. Um, nope. Lost that's, a lot of SPP though. So first of yeah. all, the uh, the the lineman who got MVP would have leveled, but instead he died. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a dodge catcher who died uh, yep. and also a wrestle dodge lineman who died 
Yep. And a strength blast lineman with kick, tackle, and wrestle, who I have a feeling has been kicked already. Has been has been kicked off the team. Oh, yes. you know, those skills. Tackle, wrestle, kick. I'd consider keeping him. I definitely wouldn't fire him. I'd like sit him on the team until the next game. Like you. Mm. Does he have a replacement kicker now? Or does no. he? No, he doesn't. I'm. The, the only. I mean, it's, the only level. It would have been out for one game. Yeah. The only level was was the uh, was the dead MVP. So no one else. On, I on the, I I actually team. have I replaced it just yet. Because kick is very useful for high offs. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd have on an elf team. I'd have kept the kick. I think. I mean, uh, I like I like it. Just like it blitz and you're in. Yeah. He also, who would they be? He, he also would have been their only tackle against the the Skaven yes. in the the week after. Mhm. Mm and got mm -hmm. a runner. And got a runner strength too, anyway. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're on it. You're on it. Even fight. But then. I mean, um, next next week, as in upcoming week. No. So the, no, as in week. So four. yeah. So he he's would have been out of the game for the next game, but the week after that, they're yes. playing rats. All right. Yeah. So wrestle know. tackle would have been even more important. Should have kept him. Uh, keeping keeping him in for now doesn't do anything either. Yeah, exactly. So. That's the that's the main thing. It's just don't fire people straight away because you might decide. Actually, I do need that sixth person. Unless I have a niggle, you can fire niggle straight away. <laughs> <laughs> unless he's unless he's your only killer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, even then, fire him right now. <laughs> Do yeah, it. the last coach telling me to fire my killer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to face Claw MB in my matchups. But do you do you not want to face a niggled player as well with no protection skills? I you know I wouldn't mind facing Claw Mighty Blow as long as I basically every hit on it him was would, It would be better if that niggled player also didn't have Claw Mighty Blow. Hmm. Yeah, better. But you know you can't pick everything. <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> Um, but the, so the humans absolutely murdered the high elves. Uh, yeah, the humans got a comfortable two-one yeah, win in. They got three levels. Strange because they have fifty-five blocks, thirteen armor breaks. Jeez. But then st still the elves just got removed. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's got a block ogre. Yep, that was one of the levels up. He did pick up a block ogre. Yes. That, that's a. Oh, it's a scary ogre. Uh, it was, yeah, that is it was only scary. two kills inflicted, so one of the deaths was a dodge out or whatever as well. But yeah, oh, surf maybe. I was about to say third, oh, third skill right. an ogre. If it's not a double or a stat up, you you fire him and replace him. But block stand firm guard is amazing. Yep, uh, that, is that, a, that is a lovely MVP. line of scrimmage. Yep. Lovely. Cool. He's also got uh, piling on on his tackle mighty blow blitzer now. That's fair. And guard on the, the bludger. The human team. No, that's the fine. human team Watch is guard. really starting to yeah. look nice. Isn't yep. It? I'm glad I faced him and managed to get a draw. <laughs> Which should have been yeah. a win, I think, for me. I mean, that blitz can get yeah. stand firm next. And you've got, uh, you know, bludge, stand firm, guard, player. Yep. Um, bludge, bludge firm, to guard. To stand next to the ogre, who's also got... Every one's dead. Yeah. I love love the AG plus on the thrower. Yep, AG really plus nice. accurate. That just makes him a semi elf. Yeah, is that bludge? Yeah, yeah it's a very nice team. You, you're you're hoping he picks up a double really for the thrower. I'd right? I'd actually I'd be concerned if I was the Norse. I think this is this is also this is a good Norse killing team. You know. Yep. Uh, he's got the mighty blow to deal with it. Yeah, he's got more mighty blow than most of the other bash teams really. Yes. And the movement nine catcher with sidestep. Mm. That's a that's yeah, always that's a threat awesome. just to just to score. But mm -hmm. you 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 play the perfect eight turn storm, and then he just one he turns just one turns anyway. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's just just I mean you need to rely on getting a couple of removals because the dodges through the tackle zones with edgy free are gonna be hard. I mean there aren't many teams you, in this uh... division that will like facing this team. I don't think anymore. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Would you bench the movement nine for the lineman? For the one, what well, save him for just one turning? Yeah, I think he's pretty useful. Oh, he's still a, you know, he's a pretty useful player to have on the pitch. Mm -hmm. 
It's not that fragile um, either because of, although because of ABA. I just wondered. Is it is it that much? We, is it that worthwhile to have all like you're definitely going to have the um, the wrestle dauntless strip ball catcher on, and you're definitely going to have the, the plus strength catcher on. So you've you've still got two yep. dodgy blodgy whatever um, catchers on on the pitch. Does the extra mm -hmm. movement help in in defence that much? Probably not. Might, but probably not that much. You've got enough movement with everyone else, right? Yeah, that's true. You also wonder who you're going to put on the line, don't you? Yeah, yeah. If they're yeah, like you'd have the thrower out of the out of the yeah, you'd, you'd have the thrower on the bench rather than the one turner. Because yeah. mm -hmm. um, you because you have two benches. Yeah. yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah, throw the catcher on the bench. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's probably I don't think humans need three catchers on the fields. So. Mm. One of them's a pseudo catcher. Yeah, one of them's a pseudo blitzer. I, which I, I still yeah. think should have gone diving tackle sidestep rather than tackle. Like, mm, maybe. You've got, you've got that agi access, you should use the agi access. Yeah, you should use it. That's true. I, I, I understand why he wanted the extra tackle. Hmm. It was uh, it, yeah. It would have been. His... Yeah, it was, he was facing elves. Hmm. Yeah. Diving tackle's not bad then either. But you know, fine, fine. Every time I see it, I'm gonna. Every time I see, it, I'm gonna remark on it. And I'm gonna be annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So isn't terrible, but uh, you do wonder. So should we have a look at the leaderboard? Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at the leaderboards. We see that we didn't do it last week. Because there wasn't really much to do. Oh, oh well, yeah, and also we were like halfway through the week, so it looks it was yeah, that's also true. Giving away too many too much. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah. Also, you still can't judge too much based on two weeks. No, right? that's true. That's true. You can lose two games and still be on top. At the end of four, uh, thirteen weeks. Yeah. At least you hope so, don't you? Innovation. Yeah, <laughs> You know what? I I deserve both of those losses because I actually um, I actually stopped London's drive and then mm. gave them the opportunity to turn me over and score. So no, you, like deserved it. <laughs> and last game I just played terribly. The the rats really really deserved that one. Mm -hmm. Over committing to the one side and letting them have an easy two one. Yeah. I mean it's it's hard right. it's hard not to it's hard to stop them basically, isn't it? When they're basically uh, twice as fast as you. <laughs> when I looked back on it, I could have just left the two warriors where they were, mm. just stopping that sideline. Yeah. Leaving um, leaving the beast and the Nurgle warrior where I'd already left it, and and move the other two over to the other side, or maybe just a bit deeper on 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 the right hand side. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's loads of stuff, but yeah. Learn, learning each time, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So we've got three players sharing third spot for now. All three of them have two wins. Were they the three? I think T Cold has it on touchdown difference. Uh, I, I don't think. I don't think not in game. So in in the game table, it doesn't show you. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't do tiebreakers like that. that. It does. All the all that, the tables yeah. have the same. Uh, way of working. It's basically whatever CCL are using. So it's the weird CCL yeah. formula thing, um, oh, okay. uh, which is. Um, you do that. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it is. It is actually this way around. Also, on the TD difference mm -hmm. with the Necro team having four, four touchdowns up. Uh, the Norse team three, are three up, and the Skaven are two up. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. You'd expect the uh, the Skavens. You'd expect the Skaven to be a bit more, but I think they they were just yeah they they must have been both just just one difference lot uh, wins. Yeah, two ones, both games I think. Mm -hmm. Rightly. Yeah. Uh, beneath that we have the human team and the chaos team chasing. Yeah. Just two two points after now, but, but <laughs> yeah, definitely not out of the race. No one's out of the race no, yet. Long way from it. Cool. Uh, so should we go on to yeah, should we go yeah. on to next week's games? Let's try. Yeah, I think so. So we have uh, Grim Tail versus Nurgle Community College. 
It's uh, that's Nurgle versus Chaos. Nurgle versus Chaos. Uh, and that's I, actually I, your game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's confusing because I watched because Nurgle Community College are actually a Chaos team, not a Nurgle team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want to be Nurgle. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Everyone it's wants to be. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> no, is is teams a bit light, but is the way that he's played is is. It's, um, he, he, he's not he's not killy at all. So I think. On pure bash wise, you should actually have the advantage. The uh, the Adji Four Chaos Warrior should be was interesting. It's to me. interesting, yeah, because I don't think he's really used it yet. I think I think he tried uh, to I hand off to it in the last game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I regret not being able to watch that game, <laughs> but um, I plan to watch a few of his games just to just to get a feel for how he plays, but. He's got a really interesting team to me. It's nice. He's, uh, he's got block on all but three players, which is, you know, good when you're Chaos. I was surprised that he's gone for the Minotaur, because that's new. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one game old. Yeah, last game was the first yes. game. We, remember, we, we noticed that last time. I, I, I was surprised that he went that way with it, but it's understandable why he's gone that way. But yeah. It's a long-term league, so having big guys is often more... You know, bloat is not really so much of a thing, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Uh, there, there's very few big guys where I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. And, and like, the Nurgle Beast is one of them, but, yeah. Yeah. All right, so... Do you see any trouble with this team? You're facing? Uh, the, the, the mass guard... Is, uh, no, sorry, the mass block. Is really nice. The the blodge goat is interesting. That'd be mm -hmm. that'd be a fun one. You don't you don't have any tackle, do you? Be the ball. Oh, you do. Your you don't. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the yeah, I got two lots of tackle. Um, the strength up block goats interesting. Kick goats mm -hmm. are interesting. Um, it'd be it'd be interesting who gets to win the toss. But um, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I th I think I could decide the game quite a lot. If you claw MD, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, that if you don't roll one in nine. I wouldn't be surprised if the game ended up as a one-one draw, mm -hmm. or a nil-nil draw. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, nil-nil. Nil-nil draw. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just fails to score. Right. Yeah, that's fair. Or 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 AV9 decides to not work and just everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> AV9, uh, fake skin. <laughs> yep. Um. So next is the last caress versus Grinch. Which is the orcs against yep. Necro? Necro? Yeah. Well, the Necro should should win this, I think. The, ne the Necro. I think the Necro should win that because because just of the strength advantage. Um, not not strength advantage, but they have, they have got, some uh, guard, some MB, right? He he's got claw mighty blow. Mm -hmm. He, he yes. puts his claw mighty blow into into positions where you might be able to capitalize on it, like you might be able to force him. Because uh, I left him a two dice into a one dice on my killer. He he took it and he uh, re rolled the two dice. Mm -hmm. but, oh, right. um, yeah, it's just uh, he's an aggressive coach, is Brendan, so I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. to see that too much. Um, if Claw Mighty Blow gets one or two out, I think it's a really big uphill battle for the Orcs. Yes. I reckon they're playing uphill anyway. Yeah. But... To be fair, they do have 14 players. So he's got to pick his targets with the claw mighty blow. Yeah. Um, if he gets if if, if he gets some of the blitzes, some time. of the uh, black orcs out, then it's going to be tough for the orcs to come back. If, if he just limits the orcs' mobility by 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 taking out the blitzes, it, it'd be a really tough game. Mm -hmm. uh, with the movement eight werewolves and stuff, it's just it's not a good matchup for. For the orcs at this rate. Oh, the the orcs are also going to have a, a, a wizard, so uh, or, or enough okay. money for a bribe, or possibly even two bribes if they want to spend their own money. There's one okay. one eighty difference. Um, right. I I could see I can. Uh... It's one, yeah, one ninety difference. No, 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 no. 80, 180. One, 170. 180. 180. 60 to 40. Oh, wait. Oh, 60 to 40. I was looking at the wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's really hard. 
I, they can't really capitalize on uh, on the wizard very much, uh, very well, mm, and they no. don't have a dirty player either. Yeah. So, is that what you're about? I just think with the with the complete lack of guard on the orcs, he, he can't he can't bully the necro very much. I think they're out guarded by the necro, aren't they? Well, they have two guards on the necro, and none on the orcs, or one. None on the orcs. One on the orcs, right? Yeah, one on the orcs. But so that's that, that, that's that's tough. That's small enough, like. The the, uh, the orcs do have a strength five troll, troll more yeah. more strength four as well. So they've got five players who out strength the two strength four uh, flesh columns, right? You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's going to come yeah. down to positioning. It's it's going to be come down to position, but I think I think the necro going to win this one. Yeah, all the blodge as well. Mm -hmm. The blodge, the blodge fair. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, it was such a tough matchup for for Dave here. Yeah. Um, I'd go with a with a two one. I reckon. Two one. Yeah. I I could even see a, a two nil. I think. No, two one, yeah, two nil. Two one, two nil. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is the uh, Kislev Bear Necessities against the yes. Pro Elves, the Grim Dragsters. Yep. More, more grim. I really wanted to see. going to see. Dr. Hep. Sorry, say that again. Oh, for, um, I really wanted to bank on Dr. Hep having a comeback, comeback week. Huh? I'm not, I I'm not so sure. Um, <laughs> we will, we will see Mike picking up a babe because he's actually going to be 50 TV down. He's TV down. Yes. Um. TV but, down Mike is, is, is a scary thing. I mean, it's, it's, it is it's it is just a baby he's going to be able to pick up. Unless he decides to spend some of his... Unless he decides to spend some of his 150k. Yeah. I mean, he could. it might even make sense for him to get... He could get a wish. I was thinking about getting more bench. Like, now mm. is not a bad time to buy another player. You're against someone. Like, no. would you rather have a bench than a babe? I think I'd rather have more, more players. Uh, I think I'd rather have a bench then yeah. yeah i guess but he also he also has one you know waiting waiting to come back from a uh, from an mng yeah but it tends you tend with kislev you tend to get like a cycle of a player missing every other game right so yeah there'll be someone next week who's missing the game and there'll be someone the week after who's missing the game as well so yeah you might as well get you need this feels like this feels like whoever's left on the pitch is gonna win doesn't well, it? Which, yeah which, which should be the the av8 kislev right no, I feel like yeah. the Kislev are going to be surprisingly bashy because they do have the two tackle and two guard. Yeah, two ta two tackle and wow, three guard up. actually. So, wow, uh, this is just a really tough week for Doctor Happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He he he. I mean, he's this 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 team can do good against anything really because of well, crazy elf plays with NG five. Yeah, just <laughs> throw dice at the problem. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna, I think it's going to be bloody either way. I hope it's bloody. <laughs> I'm going to bank on a Dr. Hat come back oh. and, and, and uh, go for the 3 1. Wow. Quick score turnover. 3 1. I'm just going to push my boat out there and just go. <laughs> it's either going to be 3 1 one way or the other. Right. Just, just I'm just bank on Dr. Hat being crazy. I'm, 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 I'm going to say it's just going to be. It, it's going to be a. Two one for Mike, I think. I think Mike will win. Um, it, I, I think it could be two nil or three three one to Mike, but probably two one. But you know, it's hard to stop this team from scoring if they want to, right? That's true. It's also hard to stop the high the, the pro elves from scoring if you if they. Want oh, so to. I meant I meant it's hard to stop the pro elves. I was looking at the pro elves when I said. Oh that. right, the pro elves. Yeah, yeah. Like right. the movement. Like they right. they only just missed out on that score in that last game, right? The uh, game could have been very different if they'd have put the Norse under more pressure. Mm -hmm. If if the Norse fell the uh, the old thing in turn eight, um, yeah, that's a very that that's a draw from no one. It, yeah, at yeah. best. I mean, there was a theoretical yeah. possibility if the if the ball had gone out from the off hand off, it could have no, it couldn't have scored. But there was only one player left. And he was got him. He was stunned. <laughs> or two players, but they weren't they weren't <laughs> going to score. Um, all right. Uh, Nuffles chosen misfits against the Happy Sons. Oh, that's the goblins. The, 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 the orcs are gonna win. <laughs> that's against a really nice orc team, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's an orc team Ooh. with three tackle 
one of which is as uh, one of which has mighty blow piling on. Bunch of block on the orcs as well. There's loads of guard on it. The happy mm -hmm. I mean, going oh, to is... pick up 600k in inducements. Yeah. Um, 630. Is, is the um, goblins playing at home? Uh, the goblins uh, home, so they will be playing. So, home, yeah, so they will also pick up easy. Yeah. They will also yeah. pick up the easy, uh, the easy star players. I really want to go for the goblins, it's... but I can't. They're I like, I want to I want to see this one. game live. Like yeah, I, I, I don't want to see this game. <laughs> goblins, I mean, I this would be a fun one. He's got no troll as well, so he could probably get Ripper. And a mercenary troll. Yeah. There, there's a there's a world in in which the goblins just the chainsaw goes off. Yep. They injure a few orcs, and it's really tough for the orcs to come back. But uh, tackle um, mighty blow piling on does things. I'm not seeing yeah, that especially world honestly. Stunty. If he can just like the thing is, if he can have a bunch of strength players and keep them all together in in a box, slowly moving forward. The orc, even yeah. with tackle might blow, the orcs can't really do very much against two ball and chains, and two or three trolls. You know, uh, that's true. Um, it, but he, when I was looking at the happy sons. They have enough guard just to just to beat their way in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Yeah, plausibly. I'm well, thinking it's gonna be a free nerf for the happy sons, honestly. Oh yeah, four. And I'm four putting guards. my money on. They're still orcs. Let's say two 0 just to be, you know. But but on with the cap with the caveat that this will be the game where the goblins everything goes off and we are totally wrong because we didn't because we were like yep. we we, disre we disregarded happen. the chance that the goblins luck changes. Just, just the the fanatics just gonna get five casualties yeah. in the same turn. <laughs> We're just gonna walk forward and annihilate everything. Yeah. <laughs> we just walk walk in a straight line. Screw you. Screw you. Oh, I'm really... talking of matchups that one coach is not going to like. Uh, Up me is against the humans, the teenage mutant ninja rats Ooh. against Lord we Owls. Might... We might see the end we of a Skaven might team. Might see a lot of dead rats, <laughs> especially with the MA7 tackle piling on Mighty Blow Blitzer. Oh, it was wow. likely going to uh... take out a bunch of gutter runners. <laughs> Yeah, this 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 is a rat killing team, honestly. Yeah, you, you you can't you can't discount the Skaven. The Skaven I mean, you can't, but as, uh... this is still a rat killing team. Uh, will the rats go for a wizard? There's <clears throat> uh, three rats fifty versus fifteen hundred. Yeah, and rats will go for wizard, surely. And then quite then Glart or something. Actually, they, they've got no money. Oh, they can't afford Glart. Uh, maybe a babe because they only have eleven players. I'd, I'd want more uh, players. I'd, I'd get you know. Uh, yeah, load, maybe get a, get some. Uh, get a loner with guard maybe. Down exactly. can, can you get can you get a guard? No, loner? you can't get doubles. Has to be normals. Right, sadly. Um, cool. Um, has has he rebought the storm for him? He has. Yeah, that's why he's on zero money. Hmm. What was that? Sorry. So, uh, wizard, two babes, and uh, apo. Did you say? And an extra apple, mm. power apple. Uh, might be worth it. Uh, um, you, um, could, you could also get like a couple of line rats just to bulk yourself up a little bit. Yeah. Swarm, maybe. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah, we're going to see players. a couple of star players. Uh, what's the star oh, no, player you, for the rest yeah, of Yeah, well, Skitter's really good. He's yeah. within thingy. Glance the next one. Uh, oh, there is the ball and chain, but I don't think that's a very good idea against the humans. I... Oh, isn't um, they're playing? They're playing the. Uh, no, they're not. Uh... You could oh. get um, you could get the strength up gutter runner, and a wizard. Yeah. Um, but this, I like um, I like the wizard two linemen. Maybe a power. You can't get two linemen. For the... Can you? Oh yes, you can. Sixteen. Oh, Sixteen. Sorry, yeah, you can. You have four, forty left. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that that's some difficult. That those inducements would be fun to see what he takes. Yeah. Yep. What 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 he'll do with it? Gotta be fun. But yeah, humans. The humans look pretty 
pretty likely they to win, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I would put my money on the 2 1 human win. Yeah. Okay, and then we're on to the tanking generals. <coughs> my game. Against the arrogant bar stewards, ju just after they've yeah, been I, murdered. I, 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 I get to face some murdered elves. Yeah. But there's still two edgy five movement eight elves in there. Yeah. So. How it's still, still plenty of scoring threats, honestly. Uh, their actual TV is going to be 1540. So they're only nine. They're so... only ninety behind you, even with no players. Yeah, they got they got three three loners. That's fifteen ten then. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about eighty for some reason rather than seventy. They... I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, he can, uh, could he could scum a wizard. With yes. With this number of players, mm. would you actually spend your money to to get a wizard, or would you save up to rebuild? <laughs> Surely rebuilding is more important, right? If you go in, if you go in after the win, hmm. yeah, yeah. Hopefully, score quickly. Wizard, score again. Yeah. Stay just line of elves. I'd, I'd be more interested in in buying players and not not spending money on the win, basically. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the right, the right head to play. So long term. What would what would you think then? You would just get like two blood was the babes maybe, or an extra apple. If he's going team preservation, you go the extra apple. Yeah, yeah. If he, and and if he goes the extra apple, you you're probably looking at a at a one or a two two one win, one nil or two one win. Mm, you don't have any tackle, do you? For yourself. I do not have any tackle now. It's only four dodge though. He says only. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's got edgy five dodge. Just saying. <laughs> One of them does have edgy five. Yeah. No, that's that's the player I really gotta gotta worry about you now. Yeah. Mister renamed. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's just it's, it's it's two scary edgy five players. Yeah, it's elves. They can always elf. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you're still the favourite though, right? So, after he's I been so I'm, 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 I'm I just, I just, I just need to pick up some tackle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you know, you got frenzy. It's like the, uh, you know. I've got frenzy yeah. semi tackle, yeah. I guess. Poor man's tackle. <laughs> and talking of teams that uh, are going to need tackle, the Norse against the Dark Elves. The dragons, T Cold's dragons, as we're calling them from now on, yep. against uh, strikers, the dark side. Except said with said yep. with an Irish accent. Uh, I think the Norse are definitely favourites for this too, right? The, the Norse have got a horrible team for the elves to face. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, it's just yeah. Elf killing extraordinaire. <laughs> yep. The, there's just a deck stacked against the. Uh, Elves, yeah. the, the Norse are basically stacked against almost everyone except for humans. I'd, I'd argue, you know. Yeah, I'd, I'd argue that as well. The, the humans, with uh, yeah, just because of the way the humans are built, the, the humans have a really nice build to play against the Norse. Mm -hmm. But I mean, both these teams look really good now. But once, you know, in a season or two's time, when they're when the the Nurgle and Chaos teams. Are uh, you know are at the same level of scary? Yeah, exactly. Or going to be more scary, basically. That's when the humans. When, when we have like eight mighty blow. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have eight blow MB. And the, the humans and slowly dis disappear. A bunch of guards. There's just like four players left on the. <laughs> okay. No, it'd be a sad, sad day. To we, yeah. See that human team go down. It is. It's a very good human team. Mm -hmm. They'll they'll be remembered. <laughs> <That'd be romantic>. <laughs> <laughs> Already writing their eulogy. Because <laughs> <laughs> already planning their funerals yeah. and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I love it. Okay, definitely can tell you two have come up from uh, miners together. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> don't don't worry, me, Doctor F, and, and Positive John Mike are exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Right. Um, I th I think that's us done, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. it.
So only an, only two hours and a half, I think. <laughs> no, two... I, 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 I thought we decided on, you know, spending less time on the yeah, recap, this, not this, more. This time we seem to have taken longer, I don't know. Uh, uh, two hours, 15, so not, not just, that much longer. Just... All right. Blame it on me. I'm disorganized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've had more people watching, but we've had less people talking, which is interesting. It's just been T Cold talking, but we've had quite a few viewers coming and going. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. apparently, people like your voice. Well, all, all of our voices. Yeah. Yes, yeah. all of our voices. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, look, there's someone. They, they... Chin chinnery boy. Oh. Chin... Hello. <laughs> uh, no, you did. You did just interrupt our flow. I'm sorry. <laughs> now the end's going to be rubbish. <laughs> yeah, no, no, the end's going to be rubbish. <laughs> Don't worry. The end's always rubbish. Right? I'm terrible at it. <laughs> I've got no idea. I mean, it, 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 it can't be much worse than the start. So oh, yeah, you're right. Actually, yes, you're correct. 100. <laughs> percent Shade has been thrown. It's not really. Yes. <laughs> I think shade has to. Ha for, you know, for it to be shade, it has to not be true. That's the kind of problem, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so in, that, in that case, then the shade that you threw at me wasn't shade. Yeah. Well, it's, but, it's been yeah. a lot of fun. Thank you. For <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's been a laugh. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been a laugh. Um, good luck with your game. Next week? Uh, oh, uh, we've arranged it for Saturday. So, uh, oh, yeah. so you're going to be, gonna be awake and, and concentrating instead of the, the secret uh. that you told? Well, on, on the Saturday, I'm actually up at like 6 to take oh. my uh, partner into work. She's got work really early. So right. I've had enough time to get like two coffees and stuff. I'm done with that. <laughs> you're, you're actually going to be awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will definitely be awake. Um, yeah, it's just a bad time of day for me to play. I'm quite happy that he was able to play at that time. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Ugh. Oh, and Jojisi uh, also uh, uh, was listening in but not talking. See, I should, I, I should be, uh, you know, not, not passive aggressive, but I should, I should be. Uh, what, what, what is it the girl, girls do when they go? I oh, look, it looks so ugly. Please, please talk to me. <laughs> post, post. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That'll do. Right. That's all right. But you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> oh, well, that happens often. All right. <laughs> confused. Confused will do. Uh, my confused face is just my normal one. <laughs> you default to confused. Yeah, just default to confused. It works. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to host someone. Uh, I, I'm yeah. going to host Mr. McCormack, or whatever, however you say that. Uh, wait. There he is. Um, so, um, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, right. thank you for for talking with me, Failfish and Innovation. Say goodbye. Uh, welcome, man. Thank you for having me. It was me. fun. See you later, everybody. Bye. Right, thank you, everyone. Bye. And now there's that pause that I always forget about while the raid goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, six seconds. Five. Well, 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 well. Okay. It's not awkward at all. Are we, are we, are we, are we, are we gone yet? Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we gone now. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that was, a, that was an awful lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. Cool, yeah. Oh, it didn't feel like two and a half hours until I looked at the, um, you know, the clock thing, as it were. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was watching Car Max game the other week. Mm -hmm. That was, he's, he's an interesting player to watch. Yeah. He's very. He plays Woody's very aggressively. He's a. He's a. He. I've. He was in my division last season. Um, oh, yeah. And when I when you know someone's it. aggressive, um, you can kind of play into them a little bit. Play around it. Yeah. Well, more more like uh, I made made everything harder for him, and then he rolled lots of dice, and then everyone died. So just just. Oh, you just, just made him roll. Killed his entire team, dice. basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were devastated. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> killing killing players is why I play Blood Bowl. Basically, <laughs> none of this winning stuff. Jeez, the ball. <laughs> there, there's a ball. I don't understand. There's a ball involved. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like most of my games right now. <laughs> Definitely. Oh uh, well.